All right. Well, shit. Hello and welcome. Welcome and hello. Today is Thursday, you guys, which means that it is actually vlog day. And I got a full, full vlog planned out for you guys tonight. I can't do that thing where I put all the timestamps down here anymore. But my main man, Jeremy V, if he's here, if he's in the chat, there will be timestamps down below, either in the description or it's usually the first pinned comment underneath this video. Thank you, Jeremy V, in advance for doing that. Welcome, everybody in the chat. Welcome, everybody watching the replay. As you can see, Don't we have a me. special guest this week on the... We're going to be pairing bottled water with... <laughs> you know, not nearly as exciting. Not nearly as exciting. So we're going to have beer tonight, although it's going to be called the soda segment, but the bumper's going to be the same. We have... Uh, some vape mail to open. We actually only have one box of vape mail to open tonight, but it is a very special box of vape mail, and there's actually a pretty good story behind it that involves our good buddy Eric, Mr. Vinyl and Vapor. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna poke fun at him uh, just a little bit, all in good fun. But I got a package today. We have a retro vape. Oh shit! Oh retro vapes. Oh, I forgot to put on pants. It's much too late That's for that, dude. I'm not holding yeah. this over while We're you put pants on, man. Yeah, I'm not going to go People put pants on. People are going to see your inner thigh. People are going to see my knee, and, it, that's fine. and they're going to be looking at it now. Now that you mentioned it, everyone is. Yeah, they can't help but look at that now. They can't not look at it's it. It's your worst nightmare, literally. Yeah. Literally your worst nightmare. <laughs> it's not. Well, it kind of is my worst nightmare, <laughs> like if I'm thinking about it. I don't want people seeing my knees. Yeah, I mean, if not, you like your worst nightmare today. You've mentioned it so many times that you were going to put pants on to avoid the situation. All day long, all I've been talking about is like, oh, I got to put pants on. I got to put, I got to put pants on before the vlog. That definitely didn't happen. Mm. Will you do me a favor and go put shorts on, so that I don't feel so all awkward? All I have is swim trunks. That's much more put exposed. Put swim trunks on. No. Yeah, and Kent's swim trunks are a little bit more small and revealing than I thought they would be. <laughs> Like these are well above the knee, like well above the knee <laughs> well, trunks. Uh, here's the story behind that because I had one pair of swim trunks that I wore for like eight years or something, and they just didn't fit me anymore. I got you know more muscle. That's why I like to yeah. put in air quotes. <laughs> but these swim trunks no longer more fit me. Muscle. So I was in I was in Spain with M Turk, and we went to some random clothing store, and I was like, I'm just gonna buy some swim trunks. They're absolutely European. European swim trunks. European swim trunks. Which are a little bit smaller, I would say, assume, than the American version since they're much... Well, they are tight. They are tight and revealing. Yeah. That's fine. I mean, I'm not... I, that wasn't any judgment or anything. It was just... It kind of came taken, off that I was way. Taken, just taken by surprise. You know what I mean? If that's the case, then why did I feel the need to defend myself and give I the whole know. backstory? That's your personal issue. That's that's on you. That's right. your conscience right there. Um, but we do have a retro vape. We have a very random liquid tasting that Kent himself picked out. And then we're going to uh, end this all with some favorite comments of the week. We're going to be doing super chats this week as they happen. I think I already missed two. I think I already missed two. I think I'm getting secret <laughs> messages from people watching the vlog. Oh, you probably are. Sorry, just don't don't check your phone during the vlog, please. Oh, blah blah blah. In Go fact, on. take your phone. Get, take put your phone in the kitchen. Not, Pick. Put your phone in the kitchen. I'm not leaving the room. I'm just kidding. While you're live, uh, Big Rig. I really hope uh, hair isn't the topic tonight. <laughs> you you literally brought it up just now, so it could be. It talked could about. be the topic tonight. I know for sure. At the, um, that's what she said. They are talking about something about hair. It's oh really? Hair. Every. I know it was so weird on their thumbnail. I was like, whoa, we just talked about hair for like two hours with my patrons yesterday. Yeah, we did. It was forever. Anyway, big rig it might not be about hair. Scrapwood original sent you an email to get your updated PO box. I appreciate that. I'll get back to you, bro. Vape in case. Okay, Nick and Kent. Where you guys? Let's start the party. We were late. We were late because, and that was 100% my fault, you guys. I started, I put on there that the stream would be starting at 4, knowing full well that it started at 4.30. We always start the vlog at 4.30. I don't know why I put 4, but I just decided to start it early today. So I apologize to that. Not the real Gerard Butler. yo yo to you. Give him a yo 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 Yeah. All Joe day Mamba. long. Joe Mamba. Love you guys. Vape in case. Bro. Intro music. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know where that intro. Uh, I don't know where that intro music came from. I just purchased it. Kent, none of this is 
None of this is real. Yeah, that was so great. <laughs> None of this is real, Kent. <laughs> Probably None of isn't. this is real. Okay, so uh, we're going to do the super chats in between each segment, and we are going to spend the majority of the vlog, uh, probably about an hour or so, really just talking to Kent and getting to know all that is involved with Kent Hill, his likes, dislikes, fears, hopes, dreams, uh, fears again. We're going to talk about fears yeah, twice. twice. We're going to talk about why your hair is so long. All right. So it is going to be about hair then. Yeah, it is going to be about hair. <laughs> it can't be. We got to talk about hair at some point. Um, but what I want to do right now is I want to kind of want to open a soda. We don't have. So the one thing I don't have, the one thing I was unable to prepare for this week is my favorite thing where I get to hear from one of my subscribers. And I apologize. I don't have a video ready to go. But that's what we usually do right now. So keep those videos coming. If anybody else out there has a video that they want to see featured on this vlog, Dude, you can email it right over to me, nick at grimgreen.com. Just mark it, that one thing, and, and then I'll see it, and, and it could get used on this vlog. So, so keep the videos coming. I just don't have one today. But that's cool. what we have today is some mother trucking soda. So before we drink this soda, you say soda or pop? Soda, dude. Soda? Yeah, I, was, I grew up in California. Yeah, I grew up in California too. I say soda. Or I just call them by their names. But I think the generic term is soda. I'm not a pop person. No, that's no. only Minnesota. No, no, no. It's like an East Coast thing. Uh, East Coast can go both ways. You know, I'm not going to argue about this. Okay. Well, no, I don't I really know any more than you. It wasn't like, well, that wasn't intended to be like combative or anything. I think you're ready to just... fight <laughs> early. Push the button. Just <laughs> flip the... T All right, here we go. Let's, <laughs> let's try some beer. So in in uh, in preparation of uh, of Kent Kent's arrival here, I know he doesn't drink beer. Uh, Eric, same way, he didn't drink beer, so we had root beer. Um, so we went to the grocery store we and sure uh, we just bought a bunch of weird sodas. Yep, these are weird. These are real weird sodas. What which two did you pick out? Uh, this is yours. Yeah, you got this. Yeah, I got, you got those. I, two. See, I got really weird ones. Right, I got creamy ginger, which w is. Root beer. So what's the first one you got? This is creamy ginger root beer. Yeah. I figured, you know, everyone says I'm ginger or whatever, so I figure I should get oh, something that mentions oh, hair. Oh, yeah. the topic was hair this week. The topic is hair this week. And then what you have to tell them your oh, uh, first got, one uh, you chose. So the weird one I got was uh, an Irish cream cream soda. Irish cream cream soda. I figure if we couldn't have beer, I should have a little bit of flavor of Irish cream in there. And the second one I got right. was bourbon barrel cola. And that just seemed so fascinating to me, again, because we don't have beer this week. So I feel like I needed something with burble, burble? bourbon, bourbon, <laughs> bourbon barrels, bourbon, bourbon barrels. Yeah, and I got this one. It's blackberry jam. And what makes me feel like these are just kind of going to taste like regular root beer and cream soda and stuff. Really, you have no high hopes. You don't think that the Irish cream creamy soda. I think soda? it's like a, a vaping liquid where, you know, you, you call it a spectacular name and it's like it's blueberry. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. I get that. You think it's a little bit of uh, like hypey marketing in there. Yeah, without any like over the top, like labeling. really big flavorings. Well, I, I'd like to I'd like to see you be wrong. I think the first one I'm going to open is the Irish cream soda. I mean, right. if that's where we're going. Can we both taste the same bottle? Sure. I mean, this is we can't drag this segment out into like a twenty-minute like sampling All right, of fine. the sodas. Do you drink yours first and then I drink mine, or we drink them at the same time? We can do it however you I want. I want to try man. this There's creamy a ginger very few right rules now. Over here you in the can't Green Green Industries me. office. Okay, so what are you drinking creamy first? Creamy ginger root beer. Creamy ginger root beer. Kent's going in for some creamy ginger root beer. <laughs> I think I'm going in for some ice uh, Irish cream Dude, cream wait, soda. Wait. What? What does it smell this like? This smells like scope mouthwash. Exactly. Smell it. Why'd you say? Does exactly like? Scope Why does it mouthwash. smell like that? I don't know. Probably because you're not supposed to mix cream with root beer. Ginger with root beer, you mean? It's creamy ginger. Creamy ginger. Creamy ginger drinking creamy ginger. It tastes like scope mouthwash. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, dude. Does it really? Yeah. <laughs> it's like drinking a fucking <laughs> whoa sixteen ounce bottle of mouthwash. It's like scope. Without the mint, though. 
It's like scope without the peppermint in it. It's There's very, no trigeminal feeling, but it is scopy. Absolutely. Yeah. I Why? Don't, I don't know if I Why? can do that. Okay, so here's just a heads up warning to everybody. If you ever see this soda, creamy ginger root beer, buy it, it like if you want to drink a yeah. whole bottle of scope. Buy it if you want to taste like Angela Garrity. What, you, do, you don't want to drink a giant bottle of scope mouthwash? <laughs> I feel like that's... That's Dude, ridiculous. That's the last thing I expected this to taste like. After tasting that, I'm really excited about this <laughs> Irish cream cream soda. Like, I'm so excited. Why are you messing everything up in my life? You're not All used right. to that yet. It smells like Irish cream. Uh, <laughs> we chose the worst yeah. sodas. I'm so glad these taste bad. It's not that good. It's not that good. It, it tastes a little bit like Irish cream, but it also tastes like cardboard. Doesn't it taste like wet cardboard? No, it tastes like if you took the Irish, you know those little coffee flavors? Creamers, yeah. Creamers. International Delights? Yeah, International Delight. Yeah. Overly sweetened Irish cream stuff that you can put in your you coffee. You drink one? No, and you poured it into like a... Cream soda. A, yeah, like a cream That's soda. That's kind of what it tastes like. Yeah. It's not good. No. I'm I really mean, disappointed should, in this. Well, shit. Should we do a vape pairing with them? No. I mean, sure. <laughs> Let's do a vape pairing. We'll get into these sodas right now. Here, I don't have anything to pair with it, though. What are you vaping? Uh, I'm going to pair uh, Skull and Crossbones, I guess. We haven't got to what we've been vaping yet. Okay. Well, I'm going to pair whatever I happen to have in my RDA. Mm -mm. Don't. Stop it. <laughs> Hold it in. Hold it in, mother. Okay, I okay. Sprayed this. Oh, my God. I could have seen that going sideways. I almost sprayed so scope quickly. all over your laptop. Scope. Oh. Um, all right. Well, I don't want to drink that, so <laughs> I'm going to try. I'm gonna, you don't want to drink this either? I don't want to no. drink this either. All right. So the sodas have been pretty crappy so far. Let's, let's just chill with these sodas for a second. What? I don't want to get into those right now. <laughs> let's talk about what we've been vaping. Okay, okay. I can't right now. That was right. sensory overload. That was like scope mouthwash and Irish cream cream soda. Like, what are we thinking? That was all terrible. That was all awful. That was great. All terrible. All right. Kent only brought one setup with him, so let's real quickly. What have we been vaping, Kent? What do you got? Yeah, dude. So I've got the Modfather uh, Twisted Messes Modfather Edition box that uh, is no longer in production. It was a limited run, but you know what? It works forever, and I love it, and this is the best box I've ever used, and I... I would just use this forever. Play the like PWM that. sound for everybody. It does make a noise. <laughs> which I actually enjoy. <sighs> Can't stand it. And I got the Eclipse cap on top, the Twisted Messes Eclipse cap. It fits on the TM24 and the TM24 Pro, along with a TM24 Pro deck in there. Dang. Dang, man. And Turkish Maze. Turkish Maze, because it's Maze season. It's not even close to Maze season yeah, right now. I have the Maze shirt as well. Okay. Well... That's all thrilling and exciting. I only have a few things with me today. Uh, the Unicorn Vert topped with Bogan's Blotto RTA. Just, I mean, I just did a video for the Blotto RTA. It's stellar. It's just stellar, stellar RTA. I guess I'm in a mechanical mod type of mood because I still have this guy as well that I got last week from MTurk that is the Hyperion. Is that what that's called? The Hyperion? That's what it says. Yeah, the Hyperion. It's got that like... Slightly dangerous mech switch on it. It's just a little bit dangerous. Why? Uh, because that's about the perfect size of a coin. I shocked myself with my wedding ring. My wedding ring made the connection between the body oh. and the switch one time, just when I was holding it. I never even and thought it, like, about that. And it like shocked it out of my hand, and but I dropped it. It's a trade-off in safety because you can slip this and clip it on your pocket, so it'll never fire in your. pocket. So it'll never fire in your pocket. Yeah, yeah. that's why I kind of liked it. Yeah. I didn't even think about the coin thing. Yeah, you're right. A coin or a key in there. Um, it's still loaded up with that Confections uh, original red red licorice liquid that we tasted last week in the vlog. It's just fucking super delicious and I really really like it uh, I have this but I can't show you what's on top because that is one of the prototypes for my future RTA but that's the Squid Industries double barrel V3 with my favorite printy pattern on it it's a cool mod this is loaded up with Boule Bolu bro yeah it's a good juice used to be a Indonesia only juice but you can buy that in the United States now if you want yeah. 
because Beecher just is the Pablo Escobar of vaping. Yep. I also have another similarly styled mod. This is that grip from Immortal Mods. Switches down here, matchy matchy Armageddon uh, RDA on top that I don't love, but it's actually been fine. It's not my favorite thing, but I still keep vaping it, and it's filled up with uh, Jazzy Boba Dewey Boba. The only honeydew melon liquid that is worth a damn at all in the vape industry. One of the few liquids that we agree is delicious. We agree on some. We agree on pony on acid and dynamite fuse. Yeah, you can just bring up those two liquids. This I like this. It's good with a fresh battery in there. That mech is hitting like crazy. That's fucking good. See, man. I really like honeydew, and when they add the cream in in a classy way like that, it's a creamy. Honeydew. I know honeydew is not for everybody. I know. But I like it a lot. It's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. So that's more or less what we've been vaping. So we're all set up. You want to try the second soda while we get into this interview portion here? While we chat, while we talk? We're jumping right in, huh? Well, I think we're just going to jump right in. Uh, Unless you wanted to get, uh, unless you wanted to jump like onto this vape mail right here. You want to open the package and tell the story of the package? I'm saying we're opening these right now. Right now? Okay. My curiosity is killing me. I can't imagine how it could get worse. So, <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is right. blackberry jam, and what do you have? I have a bourbon barrel cola. Here, cheers. Bourbon barrel cola. Mm. Oh my god! <laughs> this is like I gotta try yours. It this tastes is like, like a. It's like when you buy a a pack of prank flavored Jelly Bellies. Yeah, that tastes like like boogers and (laughs) farts. Yeah. Taint. Dude. This, that's not good. (laughs) I'll tell you what that tastes like after you taste it. A handful of soil from your garden. (laughs) (laughs) Literally like you went into your garden. It does. It tastes like a potting soil. Potting soil. Exactly. But there's like a blackberry component to it. It tastes like blackberry potting soil. (laughs) That cola just tastes wrong. Like they made cola and then they're like, let's fuck it up. <laughs> Dude, it's like they had an I This is like a concept beverage. They're yeah. like, oh, I got an idea for this. Okay, <laughs> we'll just send it to the company. Million dollar idea. We'll just send it to the company. <laughs> We're not even going to taste it, dude. This is going to work. And they just like ran it without even trying them. That's what it seems like. It's so bad. I've never, had, I've never four for four, dude. Wow, they had way more flavors than this. We just chose four that we thought were interesting. Yeah. Ooh, Irish cream, vanilla cream. God, that sounds like something I, you know. Wow. Let me get some more potting soil. No, mind. that's the best one out of all of them. That's the only drinkable one. And it's not even that drinkable. No. That's the thing. I mean, I could, I could continue drinking that. Have at it. No, I'm not going to, though. I'm going to stick in here with this cola. All right, all right. I guess so. I guess, I guess to I'm going to stick in there with this cola. Well, what do you want to do? You're the guest. Do you want to open a package and tell That's a story? That's not how this works. I'm or not the guest. To, uh... That's too much responsibility for well, a guest, look, bro. You know, you, but you... Okay. Fuck it, then. We're going to save the vape mail. What time is it right now? 4.45? Ooh, 4.44 is actually... Oh, shit. That's an unlucky number All right, well, we got about 45 minutes to do an interview with Kent Hill. And if anybody has any questions, uh, feel free to throw them up uh, into the super chat if you can. I'm going to read some uh, super chats here from uh, Michael. Hey, Nick. I'm, uh, hey, I'm a truck driver. Looking forward to your vlogs every week. You're the reason I quit smoking. Right on, Michael. That's, That's very awesome. cool of you, man. Coil bastard. You said nothing, but I'm going to give you a bump anyway. Michelle Lynn, very gracious of you. Oh, my God. You got Danny Bonaducci on the show. You get that a lot? Uh, no, never got. I don't know. I don't know who Danny Bonaducci is. That's why it doesn't offend me. Oh, well, I'll show you who Danny Bonaducci is, and then it might offend you after that. Eifer, just want to know if you got the audiobook. Bro, I definitely did. Thank you for that. Brad, very gracious of you. Got my two and a half year old cuddling and watching the vlog with me. It's out. We. It's our weekly thing. I had my. Oh, I had my. Since I had my shoulder surgery. Uh, much love to you both. No beer for me. CT beer sucks. Really? Does Connecticut beer suck? I think I've had good beer in Connecticut. I can't say for sure. Joshua, very gracious of you. Hey, guys, I'm a huge fan of the vlogs. Watch them every week. Could you get my Facebook group a shout out? Wolfpack Vapors, come become one of the wolves. Fuck yeah. Put your fist up there. We're shouting out Wolfpack Vapors group on uh, on Instagram or on Facebook. And put your finger up like this. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, Kent, make a 30 millimeter ocula. All right, why not? Sure. It sounds like it's going to happen. Sure. It sounds like it's all right. Do you have prototypes already? or No. Oh, okay. No, I can do that, though. Easy? Yeah, just take the 3D drawing, scale it up to 30 millimeters. Done. <laughs> Easy. Hey, check. <laughs> right there. One simple thing. Cha-ching. <laughs> Uh, dumb head, uh, very gracious of you. Is that strawberry shortcake sitting next to you? Strawberry shortcake. Strawberry shortcake. The Metallic cartoon. Pete. The cartoon character. No, I mean not that I know of. Oh, you mean this guy? Oh, oh strawberry shortcake. That's the first. Sh- is, are you upset by that? Can I call you that? Why? I mean, why would you? It's kind of dumb. No, it's like a cool name, like in the Outsiders when they called that. You know, it's like Pony Boy. Soda pop. No, I'm Remember not taking outsiders like, when that guy was named Soda Pop. How there's always one dude in the group who has a bad nickname. No, I'm cool. Yeah, you don't want to be the bad nah, nickname I'm cool. guy. No, nah, I'm come good. on. Well, I'm gonna call you Hot Dog. All man. right, settle down, Strawberry Shortcake. Uh, <laughs> Joe, very gracious of you. What's it like being so cool, Kent? Oh, he's asking me. Mm-hmm. Mm. Joe, Joe asked you. Well, I guess it's awesome. Oh, it's awesome being this cool. I don't know. I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm that cool. You are. Uh, Yeti core, uh, very gracious of you. Let's talk about matchy matchy outfit to mic setups. Love you guys. Thank you. Very, very gracious of you. Very much appreciate that. Jeannie, I remembered how to say your name. Hey, Kent, uh, can we get a cool story about traveling or living over? Oh, no, no. Moscato night again. Cheers, gentlemen. Thank you, Jeannie. Very gracious of you. Last one here, Anthony Ramella. Hey, Kent, can we get a cool story about traveling or living overseas? I think that's an excellent jumping off point. Oh, I mean, should we go into interview honestly, mode? Well, yeah. I mean, we're going we're gonna to chat. We're going to chat right now for about the next 45 minutes about Kent. And if you have any uh, questions that you wanted to ask Kent or wanted to interject into the conversation, just jump there on the, uh, on the chat or the super chat. We'll try to get to it as, uh, Do we have a bumper for as I see them. No, no, we don't have a bumper. Do you want me to put a bumper? Well, what, what kind of bumper we got? Uh, Make it happen. Make it so. Make it so. Um, we can't. We can't really do a bumper. Okay. Don't uh, I could do, do the beer segment again if you wanted to. No. Nah. You want me to roll the beer segment? No. Nah, that's You don't want a bumper? That's forcing it. You know, I don't yeah, want I to be should, forced. You know, if I was a good host, I would have made a bumper for like, Kent, the interview. Oh, Pow! These, these are all things for the future. I know. I didn't think ahead. I wasn't thinking ahead. So let's hear it. Anthony had a question. Cool story about uh, traveling or living overseas because some people know this. Some people do not know this. You lived in China for a very long time. Well, five years. Five years in China. It's not a very long time. That's the name of your uh, autobiography, isn't it? Five years in China? Yeah, the Kent oh, Hill story. That's a good idea. That is a good idea. Yeah, everyone says you should write a book, but they don't realize how hard it is to write a book. Yeah, you just get someone to write it for you, though. You, like, dictate it. <clears throat> you just pace around the room, and you go, in January of 2006, <laughs> I had arrived in China, you know. And then they write it down and, they, and, you know, they do it. But you did. You lived in China. Yeah, I did. And w- let me get this straight, too. When you moved to China, you you had no, like, familiarity with China or living in China or speaking the language or anything. You just mm. kind of moved there on your own because you just wanted to. I mean, that's a cool story, but not necessarily. Okay, well, let's... Well, here's what, here's what actually happened is uh, when I was three years old, I lived in China for a year. Mm -hmm. So my dad was teaching English like right when China had opened up to allow any foreigners in because they were closed off for a long time as a communist country. So they they finally opened it up. And my dad, when he had a master's in teaching or something, so he could go over there. So he brought my mom and me and my brother. My brother was seven. I was or six and I was three. And then I went to a Chinese kindergarten and I was the same size as a six year old just because they were like smaller in general back then than like uh, American people. Sure, so sure. I was the same size as like the five and six year olds and I was only three. And so they thought I was just mentally disabled. And so I was just like, like they didn't assume that my age might just be less. They thought right. I was the same. They thought they just, you were a six year old. Yeah. That was acting like a three year old. Right. So they just thought I was like developmentally stunted, stunted. Yeah, sure. And so <clears throat> I got away with everything, you know, it was it was horrible. I hated it there as a kid. You got, got away with everything and you hated it? Yeah, because I had so much attention. I had too much attention. I got too much attention. So basically, you go on the street. We were like the almost the only white people anywhere. And so I'm this orange-haired kid. It's a right. chubby, orange-haired 
kid is adorable. Look like a friggin' doll or something. <laughs> You know, and so everybody is like, oh, my God, I got to, you know, go touch this animal or whatever, you know, and like as they were fascinated by fascinated. You. I was the most popular kid in the entire country. I don't know if that's true. There's no way you could even know that. Yeah, I know. But it felt good, though, huh? No, it felt horrible. Oh. As a, that's the problem. As a kid, I hated it. Like, you didn't, didn't want the attention. I didn't want all that attention. I was constantly being bothered and prodded and touched and everything. Not touched in a weird way. Just like, you know, like, oh, my God, look at his hair. You know, uh, right, look at these right. cheeks. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, touching your face. Yeah, yeah all I kinds of that. stuff like that. And just constantly yeah. being bothered by people. I never had a private moment. Yeah. But I think that, that, like, caused, like, there's still the stimulation from constantly being given attention. And so I think, like, later on in my life, I just craved attention really bad because I wasn't getting that insane, <laughs> the entire population <laughs> of the public Constantly so you being came back to the attention. United States and you're like, hey guys, I'm here. And they're like, eh. And they're like, Whoa. meh. You're, you're, you're and I'm like, I'm going to have to do some crazy shit to get these people's attention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was my first experience. And I did speak Chinese fluently as a three-year-old, you know, which isn't very fluent. But as can, a three-year-old, you spoke Chinese fluently? A, a three-year-old? Yeah, like a three-year-old speaks. You're right. But you sp- spoke Chinese. As fluently as a three-year-old would. Whoa. Yeah. But when I went back to America immediately, I didn't use it at all. It disappeared from my brain. But I think there might have been connections there still. Because I went back in high school. My dad moved to China again. Or my dad moved to China uh, when I was 14 or something. Mm -hmm. He was there for a couple years. In my junior year of high school for the summer, I I was flown out there. My grandma paid for the ticket. Thank you, grandma. And, uh, (laughs) (laughs) And I spent a month in China with my my dad was teaching there. And so I was just like enjoying it. And it was amazing. I really, really, really liked it. And so I knew I was like, I'm moving back here as soon as I finish high school. And that's what I did. I saved up money, got two jobs after high school, saved my money and just moved to China. Wow. Yeah. And I didn't speak Chinese at the time. No, I just learned, I picked it up on the streets or whatever. You just picked it up and now you speak fluent Chinese. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't be like a newscaster or something. You said five years when you went back on your own. Yeah, five years went back. Went back on my own. What did you do there, like to live, to work? I taught English. That was the that was the most uh, that was the epic thing about it. Because when I went to visit over the summer for a month, like there was some English school that my dad was working at. There was like shorter teacher for a children's class, and so they just like were like, "Hey, does your son who's like sixteen want to just come and teach this class?" Or whatever? <laughs> and I, and they paid me eighty RMB an hour, which was at the time like ten bucks. Oh, yeah, or ten dollars an hour. And so I was like, dude, minimum wage at that time in California was like five twenty five or something. So I was like, I can make twice so as much as I make in America. In yeah, I was being like an English teacher in China. Yeah, exactly. That's what that's the way it worked. I was like, dude, when you went back to China on your own, did you get like the same reaction response Were people like, oh, yes, like touching you and Absolutely. being like enamored with you because yeah. now you're a tall you know, you're much, you're like a, you're yeah, probably that, taller at, than at that point a lot in China of people. And in, in the region that I was in, like, absolutely. Like if you see a foreigner on the street, you yell, hello, mm-hmm. no matter how far away you are kind of thing. So you're always getting people in the streets just yelling, hello, hello. And they're talking to you, you know? Wow. So Which you is, went back and you just, if you went back now, you think you'd be a celebrity again? Um, I would, no, 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 I don't think so. You don't think so? I think I'm over it. But you were on TV in yeah. China. Well, that's because I wasn't a celebrity. It's because I invited myself on those shows. I was very opportunistic. Kent was on Chinese TV shows. Is there any place on the on the internet, uh, YouTube? My first video on YouTube, whatever that on my people channel, can see Twisted Message channel, has me on one of the game shows, yeah, or talk shows. So if you go back far enough, it's there. It's the very first video, so you have to keep going back. There you go. We're gonna go back on Kent's Twisted Message YouTube to see the TV show. And there's captions in there. I made subtitles for it, so you just have to turn them on. Oh, I didn't know that this video existed. You've seen it multiple times. I didn't know that it was on your Twisted Messes <clears throat> YouTube. Oh, okay. I thought it was just like a secret thing on your phone. Like, check this out. I'm never going to show anybody this, but here it is on my phone. No, I didn't know it was there. up for the world to see. Yeah, and like now when I watch it, my Chinese was like not very good. Like it was, it was fluent, like conversationally fluent. I could understand people. And, and they could understand you? Yeah, but like it's gotten a lot better since since I came back from China, to be honest with you. Yeah. Because you use it less. Yeah, but I lived more. <clears throat> like when I came back from China, I had culture shock really horribly and I just couldn't fit in in America. I felt like 
It's, which is a weird idea to think like where you <laughs> you shouldn't drink that. <laughs> it's so, just there. I'm thirsty a little bit. I don't know. I saw it and I thought, it, is it that bad? Like I thought in my head, I'm like, I remember it being bad, but not, you know, I'll just go in for another taste. <laughs> Did they have tr- soda this bad in China? Uh, they weren't huge on soda. That's why like at the time, obesity wasn't a really big problem in China. Right. But like the kids in kindergarten, that I, I taught kindergarten. That was like my specialty. I was like, fuck. Oh, amazing. Rock star kindergarten teacher. And all the kids loved you. Yeah. They call you Mr. Hill. No, teacher Kent is the first thing they learned what? before. Hello was teacher Kent. And they all say, repeat it. Oh, teacher Kent. Kent. Oh, teacher Kent. Kent's my name. Kent. I know. Yeah. And so the, the first class, teacher I would Kent. always do teacher Kent, like drill it into their mind. Their parents ask them, what did you learn at school today? They say, teacher Kent. <laughs> teacher and like, Kent. Oh, he's a great English teacher. Wow. Yeah. That's very ambitious. Now, let me ask you this. Were you smoking at that time? Smoking cigarettes, yeah. Smoking cigarettes like crazy, huh? Yeah, dude, in China, that was... The, as a smoker back then, it was pretty cool because... China's like a smoker paradise. You can smoke everywhere. Only places you can't smoke are like Walmart or something. Oh. You know, you're not supposed to. But the people but like, still do. Yeah, you're not supposed to smoke on the bus, but everybody just smokes and just he holds a cigarette out the window. Oh. Yeah, smoke everywhere. So basically... Did you do that? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Dude, when in Rome, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> sure, smoke on the bus. <laughs> I did it everywhere. I don't know. I feel. I would feel. We- I mean, I guess if that's like the norm of what everybody's doing. No, you wouldn't. Then you, you would just. You do would it, still feel, would feel weird. weird. No, I was strange in the way that I was like, I'm gonna act exactly like these, like the people around me. And this, I like literally. I want to blend in. Well, I just wanted to get the full experience. Huh. Yeah. I don't know. I wanted to be part of the culture. I guess smoking. What were you smoking? Cigarettes? What kind of Chinese cigarettes? cigarettes? Chinese cigarettes? Yeah, I didn't like Marlboros or anything because there's a different flavor to them. They roast their tobacco rather than using the, like the raw. Yeah, like they roast it more. And is, so is, the, is the Chinese flavor. cigarettes like uh, like are they like an American spirit where it's like it's just tobacco? Oh no, no who, additives. Who, who knows what you they know. put in those things? It could be anything. Could be anything. Gun, some of them taste like gunpowder a little bit. Really? Yeah. Like Did, I think they put too much gunpowder. Too much gunpowder in the Chinese cigarettes, man. Some of them. But the thing is, it's like it had no throat hit at all, Chinese cigarettes. Oh. Zero. So you could just smoke, like start smoking but right away. But the problem was, I think the particulates were maybe high because they make you cough after a while. And I had a really productive cough constantly. Was yeah. Like, How much were you smoking? <laughs> Two and a half, three packs. Sometimes. A day? Yeah. Three packs a day? Yeah. Wow. How much did they cost, dude? Nothing. Pennies. So you just smoke up? Constantly smoke. See, it makes sense now. Now that you tell me that you smoke three packs a day... In China. In China, it makes sense now. I'm like, oh, that's why he's got 115 watts with six milligram. Uh, I guess that does make like, sense. Like, that kind of makes sense to me a little well, bit Well, it's just my now. mentality with a lot of things, or almost everything in my life, is pretty extreme. Like, if I'm going to go in, I'm going to go in hard, you know? I, that's one thing I do know about you. Yeah. When you go in, you go in hard. So I went full smoke. Yeah. <laughs> full <laughs> smoke. All day. <laughs> All day. Because three... How many years? Five years of three packs a day? When I first got there, it was more like a pack a day. And then towards the... Where it really picked up was when, like, the last year that I was there. Okay. And I was just living... Like, I didn't I didn't speak to English speakers. I was just hanging out with Chinese people 100% of the time. Chinese people. Well, I remember in your... Uh, I remember in your silent jumping video, you were explaining, you're like, I don't have any friends that aren't middle-aged Chinese businessmen. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was in America, though. So, but that came like you came back to America, and you still were friends with middle-aged Chinese. No, when I first came back, I had culture shock really bad. Like I, I just I didn't feel right here. I was depressed. I missed China so bad. I just wanted to go back, kind of thing. But then, um, and I worked at a grocery store. I got a job at Target for like two weeks before I got a job at Whole Foods, and I'm definitely taking that Whole Foods job. Oh yeah. And then I was at Whole Foods for I don't Why'd know. Why'd you ever leave? Two and a half, three years. Sweet gig. <laughs> It was it wasn't a bad job, you I know? know. But it, any job wears on you after a while. I mean, yeah. you liked Starbucks, but eventually you'd rather do something else potentially. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, like you just kind of like okay. And I spoke. I Chinese. would go back to working at Starbucks though. Yeah, I could probably work at Whole Foods too. Like if it all came like some vaping is just banned. You know, like United States, you just jail time if you have vapes, right? If that happened, I could roast coffee for Starbucks again. Yeah, well, I mean, I wouldn't you, like you, be stoked, like, oh, good, you know. But it's something I could do easily and enjoy it. Yeah, and like the thing is, though, it's like 
always in the back of my mind, I was like, I speak fluent Chinese. Why am I working at Whole Foods? Right. You felt like that made you more qualified than the position you were in. No, it's not like I should be the general manager because I speak <laughs> Chinese. That's not what I mean. I mean, like, you go back I'm, there, storm into your boss's office. I speak, I speak fluent <laughs> Chinese. I what should have, have your job. <laughs> yeah. You, that's not how you felt. That's not what I meant. Oh, okay. no. I mean, like, it's like if you have a, a degree or something and, mm-hmm. you, and you know, there's nothing wrong with having a job, but you know that like, oh, I could probably be using this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Differently than yes, yes. where I'm in this I think that's what a lot of people do. That's why I didn't go to college. Neither did I. That's why I, did, I never wanted to say, I'm, never, I'm not using my degree. I don't have a degree. Me neither. Except in being awesome. Uh, you stole my line. That's what I always say. I, don't, I never say that. I was just kidding. Okay, so when did you, like, let's do the boring thing. No, it's not the boring thing. When did you discover vaping? When? Oh, wow, you're fast forward and real far here. When? Well, we established that you were a smoker. Oh, yeah. And your Chinese adventures. I want to talk about how you, like, started designing RDAs and stuff. Okay, we could we could segue. We didn't want to segue. Okay, well. When, when did you discover vaping? Bef- when I was working at Whole Foods, or maybe even before I got that job, when I was in America, I was, like, reconnecting with people that I hadn't talked to in five years, you know? Uh-huh. And so my buddy Chad, who went to a different high school than me, but we were friends. Anyway, it doesn't matter how I met Chad. He's <laughs> <laughs> I don't know Chad. I go and have, like... uh Chad's we not go, here. We get okay. coffee or whatever to catch up. Yeah. And he has a fucking e-cig, dude. Oh. Electronic cigarette. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? He's like, yeah, man, it's pretty cool. He's like puffing on it. It's lighting up on the end like a cigarette. And it's like vapor coming out, dude. I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I was like, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. And he's like, yeah, it's not as harmful for your health, et cetera, et cetera. He's like, try it. And I was like, it made me cough because I wasn't used to it a little bit. But yeah. what it was was those, like, he, he, was, he was like a general contractor or something. I don't know. He had a lot of, he had plenty of money yeah. at the time compared to me because those things cost like $200 for the starter kit. It looks oh, like yeah, a cigarette. Yeah. They have the cartridges that last mm-hmm. like a day, maybe less. Maybe less than that. Yeah. And they screw and they look like a filter off of a cigarette. Yeah. yeah. It was probably like an enjoy something or enjoy. other. Enjoy. Yeah. yeah. Enjoy something or other. Back in the day. That was like the the model. It was, it was called the RN4082 or the RN4081 or something like that. It had the, the bridge with the little foil of liquid in the cap that you pressed on there. Like you clicked the filter on and it broke the seal yeah. and put liquid in your coil. And they were terrible. But there were so many companies, Enjoy, Smoking Everywhere. There were a lot of these companies that were like e-cigs, e-cigs. And everybody, it was the same model. Everybody had the same yeah, exact model. Yeah, like the model. rebranded same exact model. Same exact model, rebranded so, a thousand times. So that's my first experience with an electronic cigarette. And mm. I, I fell in love mm-hmm. with the concept. I was, And like, they were expensive. Yeah, very expensive. It's because nobody knew anything about e-cigs or, or vaping or anything. Well, and the, so honestly, like, the first one out, of course, is going to be like, let's try to get like 300 bucks for this $20 item. Yeah. Well, manufacturing, <laughs> to be fair, I'm sure manufacturing costs more in the beginning because no one had done it yet. Yeah. But and the infrastructure $200, wasn't $200, there. $300 no, they were making a, a killing off of it. Yeah. Absolutely. It's like an, well, it's like the cannabis market mark. now. Yeah. It is know? like the cannabis market now. Like You're if right. it's for cannabis, oh, just charge four times the amount. Mm-hmm. Like that's what's happening there. Yeah. But so it's, it's the well, same like, thing with any market. And then as the competition comes in, it changes the pricing around. Yes. So anyway, I fell in love with it. Thanks for the economics lesson, Mr. Capitalism. <laughs> yeah, you goddamn right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you asked me how I got introduced to it. It was yes. like that. And then when I was at Whole Foods, one of my buddies bought a different brand of something. Mm-hmm. And he was, he I can't remember if I'd done something nice to him or, for him or something. Mm-hmm. Nothing, don't go there. But, you know, mm-hmm. but he gave me one that connected directly to a USB. It was yeah. a bridgeless 510. Yeah. That was powered by your computer. You know what we call those? Garbage. <laughs> yeah. Before that, before they had any, we called them pass throughs. Yeah, pass throughs. Pass throughs. Yeah. yeah. And there were a couple pass throughs out there that were like high end pass throughs. Do you ever vape any of the high end pass throughs? No, I had one that broke. Pure Smoker. So Casey used to work for this company called Pure Smoker. And that's how I met her back in the day through vaping was for Pure Smoker. Pure Smoker released the Pure Smoker pass through that was like, you plugged it in and it had like a, a thick cord. And it went to like almost what looked like a like a tiny little mech mod. Okay, it was like a solid body mod that had the tactile clicky button on it and a five ten, and that was the idea. It was like a high end pass through that gives you consistent power. Yeah, and they they were they sold like crazy. Everyone was pass through crazy in two thousand nine. 
<laughs> Dude, pass-throughs. Can you imagine? Yeah. In fact, some of the marketing stuff for mods coming out back then in 2009, like some of the devices coming out was like, oh, pass-through function, you know? Yeah, like that you was... You have your battery, yeah. and you can vape it, and it has a pass-through function, because pass-through was important. Like, you have to vape it while you charge it, or you have to vape it directly yeah. off the power. Because you have one device. Because you have one device, and like it. that was like the critical stelling thing, was like pass-through functionality. High-end pass-throughs. In fact, I called the Pure Smoker pass-through like, you know, my favorite vape. Of, oh, okay, uh, so you like, like you really liked it too. Yeah, I thought they were great. I loved getting consistent power like that. Yeah, because your battery's not dying. Constantly. Yeah, your battery's not dying. Nothing. And yeah, because on the Sigalikes, consistent, consistent the battery power. was like 100 <laughs> mAh. It was terrible. Yeah, terrible, 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 terrible. I'm going to jump in the uh, the super chat here. Uh, Blood Rage Engage, which is. A, quite the aggressive name that I really like. Hey, Nick and Kent, uh, I hope to see you at ECC again this year. I was the guy with the Aussie flag last time, if you remember. Yes. You remember the guy walking around with the Australian flag as a cape? Oh, Australian flag, yeah. Yeah, that's Blood Rage Engage. Okay. I'll see you there, bro. I'll see you there, at B- Blood Rage Engage. You just have to introduce yourself as Blood Rage Engage and make the face of your avatar. You have to say, I'm Blood Rage Engage. Like that. And that'll be perfect. I can't read that. What is that name? I can't read that that for this far away. Oh, uh, Jerobi Johnson. Jerobi Johnson. Nick, please turn on some lights. We can't see Kent's glorious chops in your pale, sexy knees. Is it a little bit dark in here? Is it too dark in here? Can you? Is that what people say? Is that too dark in here? Yeah, give me a second. Talk talk amongst yourself for a second. I'm gonna go for the next super chat. Yeah, the next. Super chat. All right, this one is from Deadly Muffin Cat, which is a great name as well. Thanks, guys, for all you do for vaping. My trusty Evic VT's battery is on its last legs after four use. Can you all recommend a good replacement mod? All right, Evic variable temperature. Is, do you think that's spelled correctly? What? The Evic, isn't that a really old device? Oh, yeah, the Evic like, VT? Yeah. Goes to like 20 watts or something? Yeah. Uh, if you, wow, if you've been using an EVIC this whole time, I got news for you. There's some great mods out there. Really great regulated mods. One thing I would throw at you right now is the, uh, the, the, the Vaporesso Gen Dual 18650 regulated mod. Probably one of my favorite regulated mods of the year. I also like the Ogvape V200. Not the V200X, but the V200 or the new V200 that came out. That's one of my favorite regulated mods of all time, too. But if he has a v- EVIC, what's he running on it, then? I, I don't know. It doesn't say on the top. EVIC VT's battery. Okay, so it's an internal battery device. Okay. It's the EVIC VT. I remember the EVIC Yeah, get VTs. literally anything. It's going to be better than the EVIC. Yeah, I feel like most anything. If, if you get that Vaporesso Gen, it's going to feel like you went from a Model T to a Tesla. Like, it's yeah. going to feel unbelievably better and different. That's what I would go for. That's what I would go for, Deadly Muffin Cat. Also, oh, JBC. I love JBC. Thank you for everything, JBC. Very gracious of you. I like. I heart Nick and Kent. Thank you, she Jennifer Burger Coleman. Jennifer You're the Burger best. Coleman is literally the best. Shout out, Fisty Cuffs. How much vape gear did you have to go through before you like were satisfied, before you're like, okay, this is a viable thing. Like, I can vape. I don't oh. have to smoke. I can oh. vape. I can actually vape. <clears throat> yeah. What happened with that is first I had the 510 bridgeless whatever dripper. Mm-hmm. It's an ego battery dripper. And then that was broke. And I didn't know where <laughs> to get you know replacements. They burned mm-hmm. out. And so then I smoked again. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, ah, there just has to be something. E-cigarettes, cheaperonline.com, it's a Chinese company or something like that. <laughs> yeah. They had e- e- e-liquid and they had everything that you want. You know, with those little pen style whatevers. Yeah. So I started with this other, I don't remember what it's called. What was the one called, dude? You know, has a reservoir of juice with a silicone thing and you stick that pointy thing through there. Yeah, that's the RNs. The RNs. That's the 4081s yeah. with the exposed wit bridge. Horrible. Yeah, real that bad. That was the worst thing ever. So I bought that first. It, vape technology relied heavily for years on the ability for stainless steel mesh to wick liquid down to a coil. Like that was the thing. Bridges. Yeah. Had that bridge on there that touched cotton that had liquid on it. So it was supposed to wick down. And they relied on that technology for a really long time. Yeah. So those broke. All of them burned out so fast. Like I didn't get a day out of those things before they burned out. I don't yeah. know if the quality was just bad or what. 
So then I went to the same company. They had CE4s, dude. CE4s? That was Clearomizer? The, that was the game changer Ooh, for me. Oh, really? Yeah. You were part of the Clearomizer generation. Yeah. Interesting. The, the Clearomizer, dude. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. Back then. The Clearomizer, the Clearomizer got a lot of people vaping. Yeah. Because that, got that was the cigarettes. first easily fillable, somewhat reliable, somewhat reliable. didn't yeah. constantly burn out, didn't constantly run out of liquid. You got four tanks with four flavors. Yeah. You know, choose your, choose your People poison, use clearomizers at vape shows for liquid tasting for years. We yeah. did it. Everybody did it. Yeah. The vape shop I worked at probably still uses clearomizers for its testers. Yeah. I've been into vape shops recently that you still use those like CE4 car clearomizers. Yeah. And then, so that got me off of cigarettes for over a year and a half. Oh, you know, sick. Yeah, and then I got some insurance document from my life insurance that they were like threatening to retest my nicotine levels, and I was like, I lied the first time. I'm not like this is on public <laughs> information. I mean, that's illegal. I wouldn't do that, hypothetically speaking. Yeah. And I was like... Simply hypothetically Okay, speaking. I have to quit vaping. This sucks. Yeah. And so they never tested me. I quit vaping, and then I was like, well, why am I going to start vaping again? I'm off cigarettes and vaping. But the problem that happened was I you went out of it. town, and I didn't have one, and I went out to like a bar. I didn't drink. It. I still I didn't drink already. But, like, my friends were smoking. I was like, let me just try one of those cigarettes. Right. You're just bored at a table talking to your friends. Like, let me just try one of those. So if I had had a vape with me, I would have been vaping. Yeah. I would have never started smoking again, you know? Right. So that's why, like, if I ever do quit vaping, I'll always keep something on hand with, a, like, zero milligram or three or whatever. Yeah. You know, just in case. Something. Because I'm as an addict who's addicted to nicotine, it's not like the nicotine addiction goes away after you quit. No, it doesn't. You know? It, no, that's the thing is it? I don't think it ever goes away. No, it... it Even like, when I spent... I spent four years being cigarette and vape free while I was working in the tasting room. And this is, you know, forever ago, I was, vapes weren't around. It was only cigarettes. So I was smoke free for four years. There wasn't a day in those four years went by where I didn't think a cigarette sounded good. Every day I'm like, fuck a cigarette sounds awesome. Three years later, fuck a cigarette sounds awesome right now. Fuck a cigarette sounds awesome. Yeah, right now. it didn't. Nec- it didn't happen to me like, like that. every like, day. It, it, it stopped being a thought that I had. It was I like, still I was just a non-smoker. It. I didn't think about it. But when I thought about smoking, I was like, "Oh, that sounds kind of cool." Like that was always like that sounds kind of cool. But when I would first smoke a cigarette after quitting for a long period of time, it would taste horrible. I would yeah. hate it. Yeah, you know. And I've talked. See, to menthol s- cigarettes never tasted bad to me. I could probably have a menthol cigarette right now, like a cool blue box. If you went and bought me a pack of cool blue boxes. I would probably enjoy the shit out of that cigarette. See, I wouldn't. I know I wouldn't because I've tried that. I think I would. Like Ruby Roo says the same thing. She's, you know, if she, if she smokes cigarettes, she's like, yeah, oh my that's God, like the ongoing amazing. joke it's that me and Ruby Roo have. Every time we go to Las Vegas, we're we are we, you know we're always drinking and we're always joking around. Like, what if we just smoked? Like, why not just smoke? What if we just smoked? Like one cigarette. What if we just <laughs> smoked? Just one cigarette. What yeah. if we just smoked? Well, no, for me, I've I've done that. I don't I don't even, I don't even care. You really? know, I, I did the experiment. Yeah, because yeah. for a long time, um, you know, I was around people who still smoke cigarettes, and and I'd be like, just give me one, yeah. whatever. Let me try. It's been like a year and a half. I would, I would smoke it. First sensation is there's no throat hit. I can't feel it. It's like inhaling air. I'm like, yeah. why did I ever do this? And then I'm like, this tastes like shit. Yeah, it's horrible. It coats your whole mouth, and then I get through halfway through. I'm lightheaded, and I'm like, yeah, oh, I don't feel good. And I put it out, and then my mouth tastes like shit for fucking hours. Yeah. It's literally coated my entire mouth. And that's the experience I have. And then I go, oh, I have a vape right here. I'm mm-hmm. going to vape. And then I go back to vaping. Like, there's, that's why there's no, like, there's no worry for me. Like, oh, I'm going to start smoking again. I even bought one of those IQs things, the, the heat not oh, burn. Oh, the Icos, yeah. Icos, I bought one on my way back from Russia from the vape event. Did you bring it with you? Vape event. No. It's, ah, it's I want to try it. It's like, ah. what, what, <laughs> I didn't mean to sound so whiny there. That was ridiculous. <laughs> I'll send it to oh, you. Come on. <laughs> Jesus. No, I was afraid with that, that I would like, because at first I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. You know, mm-hmm. and I was afraid like, oh, I'm going to switch to this. I'm going to be using tobacco again. But there's literally like three days of where I was kind of using it throughout the day. And then I just got bored of it. And I was like, nothing beats a fucking dripper, dude. Nothing beats a dripper. Is that your preferred? This is obviously your preferred method to vape because I've never seen you vape anything else except a pod and a dripper. Yeah, I use That's pods it. when I travel for the airplane, you know. And um, 
and you just hold it in. I'm obviously not vaping on the plane. I wouldn't do that. But like, uh, and then sometimes like I'll try to do an, a mouth to lung thing. Like I got a K fun prime when I was in Germany, I bought one, I built it. I used yeah. it for a while and I just didn't, I ended up just letting it sit there and I always just go back to a dripper. Like, it's not like I'm like, Oh, I'm going to go get my dripper. It's like, it's just what you like. That's yeah, just what's that's what I always gravitate back to is a freaking dripper. I run about 110, 115 watts. I gravitate back towards drippers and max every time, every time. It's cyclical. I'll sit on my desk and it'll be like, I don't sit on my desk. <laughs> <laughs> I sit at my desk and I'll look and I'll be like, regulated mod in a tank, regulated mod in a tank, regulated mod in a tank, regulated mod in a tank. And then slowly it's like, one of those gets replaced with a mech and a dripper, mech and a dripper, mech and a dripper. I always, and, and then I go back to like, I have like all mechs and drippers right now. It's all, it's, it's just my thing. I think it's because... I think that like a lot of people like mechs, they have more control over them as a user, you know, once you understand them and everything. Yeah. Max, I mean, I've said this before and I'll say it again. Max and with a dripper, it's it is the manual stick shift of vaping. All right, I guess that's true. Yeah. And I really like it. The thing is is I like it for the first 25 minutes. And then the battery goes down. Yeah, your battery starts dying. And then it sets but farther and farther and you have to re- See that I, that's part of the mech experience to me. Okay, yeah, that's, that's part of the mech experience no. because you put in a fresh battery and you're like, "Fuck yeah!" Like I have a dragon. Like it just feels so good, and then it it slowly, like unnoticingly, gets weaker and weaker and weaker over the course of like a few hours and stuff like this. And then you realize you go, "Oh, my battery's dead." You put a new battery in there, and you're filled with that same feeling of the fresh battery again. Oh, you're like, I see. Ah, I see. I love this. I get it. And it slowly dies and so dies and dies and dies, and then it uh, comes back again, and it's like a brand new. You're like, holy shit! It's the thrill of getting a new battery. It's in the after thrill you of getting a new really battery. Bad. That to me, it's the relief. Apart from a freshly wicked atomizer, like a brand new battery is my favorite thing in vaping. Yeah, just see, my favorite. Thing. I've been a so brand fresh battery, by vape oh. mo- like. By mods, ever since the IPv3 that went, did 165 watts after the upgrade, yeah, I have been ruined for mechs. Really? Yeah. The only mech that I really enjoy using is the uh, the Monarch for some reason. I think it's just because it well, feels yeah, really nice. Well, the Monarch's baller, and it looks yeah. and they're beautiful, and they are they're parallel 2700. Like that's yeah, that's gonna hit hard time. and last a while too. Yeah, but I go through parallel box phases too like with the titan and the monarch and like i love parallel boxes but i think in my heart i'm a mech guy that's just where i yeah, land i'm not i'm a regulated guy i think everybody who knows me knows that yeah dude everybody that knows that knows you knows that everybody okay dude, How did, is this why a did good you say seg- that's so weird is this a good segue to get a you just talked about freshly wicked freshly coiled vapes yeah you think you want to do that ultra random juice tasting? You want to do the ultra random juice tasting right now? I said juice twice. You're welcome. Boom. Liquid tasting? Yes. Bazinga. I would like to do that right now, Kent. And I appreciate you sitting here and talking with me for two hours. I know it's been a long day. What, two Kent's hours. a trooper. No, I don't and mind. He's been doing awesome today. You guys, we did the podcast. Go ahead and get that so, stuff ready. We did the podcast earlier today. So we're not going to do the liquid tasting just yet. Okay. But I have something. I have something that I really want you to taste. Okay. Did you watch? Do you ever watch my vlogs? Do you watch any of my videos? Yeah, I've seen some of them. I watched the. Uh, that's a no for anybody paying. I watched attention. the that's, whole coil turd and that's the whole a no. final and vapor vlog. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, good stuff. You got to do your research before you come and you, you know agree yeah, to do Kent a thing. Was, you need to know what's Kent happening. Was, uh, Kent was really worried about uh, this vlog. Because he thought Coilter did a really good job. He's like, Coilter did such a good job, I can't do that good a job. Oh, did I say that that's sarcastically? What you said. That's what you said sarcastically. No, that's what everybody said, though. Coilter said that. Coilter? You said that. Coilter, well, I mean, Coilter so far has been my favorite guest. Oh, I'm just kidding. I can't pick favorites. What are you kidding me? Okay, so. He, he, you he probably was, went to Disneyland with Coilter. He bribed you with a Disneyland trip. No, we went to Disneyland because we love Disneyland. That's what I mean. 
You guys bonded. You guys like all the same stuff. Okay, so you're familiar um, with the the concept of uh, pods and the way that they work, correct? Yes. And you said you have consumed mung beans in the past, correct? Fervently. I enjoy a mung bean popsicle. He's fer- <laughs> fervently. That was my Eric moment. Fervently. Fervently. Ferver. Fervent. Fervent? Yeah, like a fur. fur. Imagine a pelt, a fur. Oh. Covering your vent. Fervent. Yeah. Oh, fervently. So, here, hold this. I'm a speech pathologist. So, I have this these pods from V Folk. And uh, it's. Oh, I saw, I saw right? this. Okay, you saw I this? saw the vlog where you tasted these with someone. The mentholated burrito? There was nobody there. There was no, it was just, just you. Yeah, yeah I watched me. that vlog. Yeah, the mentholated burrito? You know how you get me to watch your vlogs is when you, you mention something about me in the title. Oh, really? Yeah. So I just have to put Kent in every title and you'll watch every video? Oh, absolutely. I'll just Even wait. if I don't mention you? Even if you don't, because I know someone in the comments will be like, where's Kent? <laughs> and I'll be like, boom, validation. I liked the vlog. <laughs> boom, validation. I liked the vlog. All right. So what we have here is a mung bean pod. All right. Um, and I remember you went. You were really hard on this mung bean pod. You mm-hmm. really, really didn't like it. <laughs> oh god and all i was thinking it's the whole, so bad all i was thinking it's the whole so time so bad i was thinking what the fuck dude you don't like mung bean <laughs> no it's like a sweet bean they use as a dessert i that's not what this is this tastes like i've told you what this tastes like <laughs> no, tell me again. this tastes like a mentholated bean burrito <laughs> is menthol in it yes <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like a well, you know what? We've agreed bean burrito. I normally would be like, no, nah, it's not going to taste like that to me. But since we agreed on every single one of these horrible sodas, yeah. I think that you might be Potting on soil? Yeah. Mm-hmm. This, honestly, this bourbon barrel cola reminds me of, you, did you ever have RC cola? Yeah, yeah. Did you have RC cola when it had like energy in it? It was like RC Max no, or something? No, never tried yeah, it. That's, that's what, what it, it tastes was. like. Ken Hill's about to vape the mung bean pod and... Uh, I I cannot wait. With no further ado. Wait. With no further ado. <laughs> well, the thing is, dude, the thing is, the reason it tastes like a bean breeder to you is because you've never had a mung bean anything. I mean, I think that I think I that think the so. menthol was a bad idea on this. Absolutely. You should oh, not you mix, think so? <laughs> you should you not think mix that was it. a bad idea? But the aftertaste tastes like mung beans, dude. Is that what mung beans taste like? Yeah. I don't ever want to eat a mung bean. It's bad. Yeah, but the thing is, it's like a nostalgic almost taste for me. Because I like really got into the Chinese desserts. Like they had these popsicles that were mung beans in them. Like full on be- just beans in a frozen like raw that you eat. Yeah. And uh, you chew the beans when you get them in your mouth. Like it's, it's just <laughs> a weird experience, you know? So I think after this vlog, I think we should go to like the... Oriental food store or whatever. And oh, I have, there's it. one. I have one. Yeah, let's go and just try to find some mung bean something that mm-hmm. I for sure like because I wouldn't say I like this, but there's a, like a nostalgic, no, nostalgic reminder <laughs> of things good in the past plus menthol and it's gross. It's bad, but I could see how this would be appealing to appealing someone who's it, all like all about you're mung in China beans. or something. Because this is a Chinese company, but these are made for the U.S. Yeah. Yeah, no, maybe maybe this is like their best seller in China. And they're it like, let's be. just try it in America. Yeah, I'd have a feeling this isn't for American palates. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I feel like this is not for American palates. I'm really glad you got to try that. You want to try it again? No. Just that's have like, one more. Really, what's the nicotine on that? I feel a little... Oh, yeah. It's uh, 8%? 90. <laughs> 5%. Well, uh, you're the first guest that gets to taste the mung bean. This huh. is going to go back in the package until the next Jiggly guest biggies. comes. And then the next guest also gets to try mung bean. And so what I'm going to do in the meantime is I'm going to put the coffee pod back on here. Oh, that was which good. is not much better. I was vaping it earlier in the living room. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It kind of tastes like popcorn to me. Mm-hmm. Like the burnt middle kernels of popcorn. Ugh. Oh, you got liquid in your mouth. No, I got your spit on my mouth. The oh, entire that's outside of the pod was covered with moist whatever. Who cares? Whatever. Who Who cares? cares? We both drank off of the same soda. Like yeah, one right you, after the you other. You didn't mouth the whole top of it. I did. <laughs> Gross. Well, I could lie to okay, myself. So 
We at have least. Uh, here. Let's. We need to roll the bumper. Let's. Uh, let's. Let's do the super chats uh, right now. Ace cheap shot. Very gracious of you, Kent. Oh yeah. Good to see you too, Nick. Ah, uh, burn. Appreciate that. That was a burn. Ben Kane. Very gracious of you. Miss you and love you, Grim. Please come back to Coles, Ohio. You know what? I don't know if and when I'm ever going to go back to Ohio, but I would never rule it out entirely. I could end up in Ohio. You never know. Next weekend. It's just something that's going to happen. Um, lump. Lump of. Lump of unworth. Lump of unworth. That's. That's self-deprecating in a mean way. That's a little way. bit of a self-deprecating name. But in a mean way. But in a mean way. Uh, <laughs> I was able to snag that last $10 spot right on. P.S. Hey, Kent. Nobody cares. Welcome. Uh, l- let me be the first to say yo, yo, welcome to you. I appreciate you grabbing that last $10 spot. Strawberry Xanax said something in chat. You say you don't like it, but you will vape it again during the vlog. I will. What, the mung bean? I might. You talking about the mung bean? Talking about the mung bean. Yeah, well, it's... It's because it's it's gross to you, but in an interesting way. It's I find it so fascinating. Yeah, I find it so yeah. fascinating. It's like when you. Shot- I find <laughs> it so fascinating that they spent that people spent time like <laughs> no too much bean, you know. That's it. <laughs> well, no, no more menthol. Too less bean, you know. <laughs> like they crafted this flavor. Like people spent time creating this awful bean burrito. <laughs> to be honest, they didn't do a horrible job making a mung bean flavored vape. It tastes like it's, mung bean. You say bro. it's accurate. I that, that's fine. You, and I I don't know enough about I mung beans to argue with. You. Yeah, in my mouth of mung I can bean. still taste it. Like how do they do that? Do they make a mung bean extract in order to make that? I don't know. Is it artificial? I couldn't tell I mean, you. It'd be amazing. Here's what I'll tell you we're going to do right now. Let's do a very random liquid taste. Boosh. Nick, is it maybe right now? No. Okay. Oh, <laughs> all right. So we got a uh, we have a very random liquid tasting today. Um, Kent brought over an RDA to take. Can I pull this off? Yeah. Of you? Can I? Okay. Yeah, oh, dude. You know, I wasn't sure. Freshly built and wick TM24 Pro Blue Deck mm-hmm. with Matt a Blue Deck, Matt Blue, Matt Blue Deck, beautiful Matt Blue. Oh, sorry, Matt Blue Deck. With a beautiful crystal, what is this? It's an eclipse cap. It's called the eclipse cap? Yeah. It, okay. It's an accessory for the Team 24 and the Team 24 What's Pro. What's that O-ring? Why'd that O-ring do that? Because you're bad at doing things, Nick. Don't you want to juice it before you do that anyway? I want to liquid it. I want to saturate it, yes, with liquid. Okay. Call it what you want. It's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> is it the same thing? Yep. Is it? Juicing it, liquiding it. You're Juicing putting it, the same exact uh-huh. whatever this is. So I put out a bunch of uh, liquids over here for Kent to choose from. There was like one, two, three, four, what was that, five, six liquids? You want me to get into why I chose this one? And so this is the one he chose. It's from, uh, it's just stick up X. What is that brand? Nom. Nom. N O M. Yeah. Nom. This is Nom's coconut sticky rice. Coconut sticky rice. Yeah. I mean, he had a lot of cool boxes up there. And mm-hmm. I, if I had chosen the first one I wanted, mm-hmm. right now we'd be vaping Deep Yeti. Deep Yeti? Ice Yeti. Psycho Yeti? Psycho Yeti is what we would be vaping because I thought the box was like pff, cool. the coolest. Yeah. So uh, here, do you want to give yourself oh. a knuckle test there? Just, oh, just yeah, lick sure. it and taste it and tell me what you think. Wow, that's a lot. Good you got to really get in there. Do you? It tastes like lipstick. So that's your first... That's your first... Knuckle it. Tell me it doesn't taste like lipstick. I'm not in a bad way. I used to like lipstick as a kid a lot. Mm. You're not getting lipstick out I'm of not it? getting lipstick from this. Okay. I'm not getting any lipstick from this. Let me yeah. try it again. It's just me. Did you ever eat lipstick as a kid? Uh, I didn't eat lipstick as a kid. I oh. ate chapstick as a kid. It doesn't taste like chapstick. No, it tastes... Lipstick, red lipstick has a very specific taste. I know as a kid, I... Did I ever tell you my chapstick story <laughs> from when I was in elementary school? <laughs> no. I cried because uh, I, uh, I found a... You know, one of those Vaseline chapsticks where you could squeeze the tube and it would <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. come Carmex, out under like yeah. a little ball and you would rub it on your lips? Uh-huh. I found one and oh God. my bright idea this I'm I'm in fourth grade fourth grade old enough elementary to know school. it was wrong old enough to know well <laughs> whatever it's not wrong so I grabbed it and I'm like 
I'm thinking of all like my mind is exploding with the possibilities of what I can do with this. I'm like, do I just squeeze it all out? Like, what, I mean, like <laughs> I want to do something fun with this, you know? And so I decided to go into the bathroom and empty it into a urinal because I thought that would be really cool, like to see all the Vaseline come out. And I went in there. Oh God. No, and someone, a kid walked in. I'm, I'm like halfway done emptying it out. And I'm just like, you know, I'm laughing <laughs> like an idiot. Like, <laughs> and I'm squeezing all this Vaseline out. And some kid walks in the door of the bathroom. And he's like, what are you doing? And all I could think to do was just cry. Like I just threw it on the ground and I felt like so embarrassed. Oh. Like I've never felt that embarrassed before. Because what do you say? I'm like, I don't know. I'm just emptying this Vaseline <laughs> into the urinal. Like... I didn't know what to do. So I just threw it in the urinal and I cried. And then I laughed. I ran out. Because I was so embarrassed that someone caught me emptying Vaseline. Who caught you? Was it the same grade as you? Yeah. Was no, he it, was an, it was an older kid. Oh, an older kid? Yeah, it was like a year older than me. He was oh, in fifth grade. He's not going to tell on you. I don't know. I just felt embarrassed. I used to cry really easily, like at the drop of a hat. Yeah, I mean, some, some people just have higher estrogen levels than others, you know. Maybe that's it. Maybe I'm... No, I used I'm, to cry all the time. I, cry, I used me? to cry all the time. I'm an emotional creature now, but I used to cry... What's that set to? All the time. It's not set to anything yet. No, that was my default as a kid, and I noticed that it could get me attention, so I cried even more. There was one time... Uh, yeah. There was one time I cried in a supermarket when I was... Dude, it's going to take all day. Just hold it down. It's <laughs> What? You don't like point one watt increments? <laughs> What do we think? Eh, 90. 85? 95. 95? Whoa, Kent. Fine, 90, Whoa. 92, whatever. Okay. Nine, nine, I'll just... Ooh, ooh 95.8. 95. 95. Right. Uh, FM. Too low. No, okay, it'll work. Good. Yeah, it's working. How's it feel? How's it smell? How's the vape smell? It smells kind of nice. It smells like Thai food a little bit. Like lemongrass. It smells like fucking coconut sticky rice is what it smells like. Yeah, it smells great. Put it on the ca- here. Hang on. You get you're breaking up my messing up my whole method here. Okay, so one time I was in a grocery store when I was like six, six or seven, and uh, I was running down an aisle, and I had my hands in the handlebar position, and I was running down the aisle making motorcycle noises. Okay. Right. Just having fun. Mom's shopping. <laughs> running up and down the aisles with my motorcycle noises. Same thing. Older kid. He was probably three years older than me, four years older than me. I was running down the aisle. He's like, what are you doing? And I was just like. <laughs> 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 All right. That's no like, reaction. What are you doing? And I just. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I'm just having fun. You know, I don't know what that was. I don't know. Dude, what I got was. in a grocery store story okay they used to have these cloth carts that they must have used for like go backs or cardboard or whatever they're these sure push carts that were just made out of cloth mm-hmm. they had these pockets on the side and i would see these pockets on these push carts they were bright yellow you know the fabric i was like i wonder what's in those fucking pockets man <laughs> <laughs> like every time i go to the grocery store i'm just like man what could be You're in just obsessed po- with these pockets what could be in there because i was short you know i was like, <laughs> the same height as the thing and i was like one day i was just like fuck it dude i'm going for it man <laughs> I'm gonna stick my fu- I'm gonna stick my fucking hand in there and see what's in there. And I go, Whoom! it was full of razor blades. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, dude. What? <laughs> Literally, full of those straight razor yeah, blades. Yes, like straight razors. Like it was a sharp container, like a sharps container. Or no, something? it was where they held their stored their razor blades. They yeah. used to like remove like labels or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, what's like, in? <laughs> I'm like, oh, I pull my hand out. And it's covered in blood, dude. And my poor mom is like, what happened? <laughs> I'm gushing, dude. Like, razor blades cut deep. deep yeah. Especially and full they're force. sharp. Those are full sharp force as, as a fuck, kid, too. Like, excited. I'm going to get whatever is in here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get what. There's a lesson in there, right? I feel like there's a I'm lesson in there. I'm pretty sure I like learned it. Like, you were it. so obsessive about it. And then when you found out the truth... It was not what you wanted. You're going it, it, it hurt you. You're going way deeper than there's a six-year-old. A, there's a lesson bro. in there. There's a yeah, lesson in for there. Maybe for my 37-year-old There's a self. lesson in there. For the seven-year-old me or six-year-old me, the lesson was don't stick your hand in fucking cloth pockets so you don't know what's in there. <laughs> that was it. If you don't know what's in there. I never did that again. Never stuck my hand in a pocket like that. All right. Vape this. All right. Take one singular toot. Should I let it exhale out of my nose like everything? Normal? However you want to do. We're going to sit back and vape okay. it before so we this, talk about it anyway. This is the first... Puff this is this. the first inaugural toot of uh, Nom's Coconut Sticky Rice. Three milligram. 
I'm gonna have to vape it a few times. Yeah. To get an idea. Any initial impressions with it? There's a weird flavor in there. It's a little antiseptic. But not not in an off putting like horrible way though. All it's right. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do what we always do during the very random liquid tasting is the first thing I'm gonna do is turn off the audio like this. Okay, okay, okay. All right, here's where we're landing on this liquid right here. Not a huge fan. Yeah, not a huge fan. Not a huge fan. Not a huge fan. There you go. Not but also, a huge like, fan. the aftertaste isn't bad, though. No, the aftertaste I think is it's, good. I think it's heavy can, on the sticky rice. I think it's too heavy on the rice. Yeah, like the aftertaste feels like I just ate a mouthful of rice. But the problem it. is the coconut component to it doesn't really lend itself to like a coconutty flavor with the rice. It lends itself to, like you said, like a sunscreen flavor. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I think that's where maybe I was getting lipstick from when I first tasted the liquid itself. Uh, oh, there's a weird... I keep tasting cinnamon in it. I keep tasting cinnamon in it. And not like red hot cinnamon, like a baking, like a baker cinnamon, like baking yeah, I'm not getting cinnamon. any cinnamon. But there's almost like a caustic almost kind of like, like how cinnamon's kind of like, feels like cinnamon like, a little yeah, bit. It feels like cinnamon. feels like there could be cinnamon in your mouth, but doesn't, to me, taste like cinnamon. But yeah, I would say it's a very complex flavor. Didn't you also say this is questionably old? No, I got it at NVE. Oh, okay. Dude, but if you sit with it, like when you inhale it. Kinda it kind of grows on you a yeah, little bit. Yeah, when you inhale it and exhale it, you're like, no, I don't like it. But then after the aftertaste hits you, and you're like, I kind of want another mouthful of yeah, rice. Yeah, I kind of right want now. a mouthful of rice and coconut right now. Yeah, it's almost like tricking you into thinking you're eating a meal. It kind of tricks you into thinking you're enjoying it. Yeah. Yeah, weird. It is weird. Yeah, don't like that. I don't like it. And that's a bummer because I was really looking forward to this liquid. Yeah. I really wanted to like this mango, not it's, mango. Whoa, whoa, just take it easy there, a little over dripper. Yeah, I overdrew it. was like boiling hot liquid a second ago. Yeah, but the aftertaste, dude, it tricks you. It makes you think it was good. Now, so we're vaping the TM24 deck with the Eclipse cap. These yeah. are new MTurk coils in here, right? You tell oh, yeah. What's in here? Those are the new Canthal series of MTurk coils. They're point one twos. They're four wraps. Frame staple. Frame staple, all 100% Canthal. 100% Canthal. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. Although I really like Niachrome. Yeah, I like it too. But the thing is, like, we all start, like, me and you. Like, if you started vaping in, like, 
you know, before 2014, everything was Canthal, you know, back yeah, in the day. It was. So it was all Canthal. Do you think that this liquid would benefit from less warmth, less temperature? Oh yeah, we should give it a good, sh- a, good a, a fair shot. Turn the temperature, turn the turn the wattage way down. Turn it down to where you think it could go. Oh, now I did that thing. It's unlocked. No, don't oh. swipe down. Swipe oh, down, so that's unlock unlocked. It, press the wattage. No, no. Swipe it down. Press this the wattage. Should not be that complicated. It's not unlocked yet. See, you do it. You have to literally be good. You just have to know how to do it. It's like, Should we try 60 it's like watts I'm not going to just see, let you sit there on your phone and be like, no, mm, won't open. No, I like phone that you're doing open. it for me. Phone I'm just open. saying if you're going to make a mod, like, it shouldn't how to do be it. that universally hard. Learn how to do it. What do you think? 60. Let's go all the way down to 60. Down to 60 watts? I'm yeah. sorry. I didn't mean to be so aggressive right there. It's whatever, dude. I'm used to it on your vlog. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Knock me out. So... <clears throat> It's taking a long time, let's be honest. Uh, it's because it's adjusting point one watt increments. If you want to get to 60 watts, all right, we're, let's try it again at 60 watts. All right. You first. It's the same. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same. All right. It's the same. There's a weird cinnamony flavor that I can't get past. There's a lot of rice flavor, which is actually like a ricey flavor like yeah. that I'm into. Yeah. And the coconut kind of just translates into like a, a sunscreen type of coconut, tropical kind of coconutty but the flavor. the aftertaste is actually good. It makes me want more. Yeah, the, that's so weird. It like, makes I me would, want more until I remember how it tastes on the exhale. But you don't remember the inhale because the exhale is still in your mouth and you like that. Yeah. That's what's so weird. It's like the actual taste, you really put too much juice in that. Oh, never mind. It's fine. It's fine. Jeez. I'm sorry. What are you the what are you the liquid empresario of the United States? The czar and exact. Okay. All right. Well shit. Well, that's unfortunate. That was unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Here's what we're gonna do now. We're doing everything fucking way out of order. That what that's an unfortunate thing. Look, I'm not saying it's terrible. I'm saying I don't like it. It's ricey and coconutty and cinnamony. Yeah. There's something weird no, in it. No, it's not terrible because the aftertaste is actually delicious. delicious. Like I still like the aftertaste. I don't get it. So the first thing, what, so the first thing, what we're going to do right now, my apologies to Mr. Jeremy V. We're going to open this vape mail package and uh, we're going to make fun of Eric Vinyl and Vapor just a little bit. But I like Eric. <laughs> All right, we're back again. We're actually still in the same exact place. Nothing actually changed. This is a very heavy box. I know. We're going to have to go through it. Not to narrate everything you're doing, but you're opening a bag now. <laughs> Trash bag. Oh, it's way bigger than I imagined. Yeah, it's, it's too big. He Here. bent it over his knee in yeah. order to hold it in place. Huh? You know what I remember huh? from your last vlog I did? What? Cut towards your buddy, not towards your body. Yeah, cut towards your buddy, not towards your body. Which so I- I'm going to quickly tell the story of this package. This package, this package, this package was from NVE Long Island. This is Uh-oh. essentially... Everything I received at that event arriving to me right now. Oh, I'm glad this conversation's happening because I'm aware now of what's happening and you are at fault 100%. I'm at fault? Mm -hmm. How am I at fault? Tell your version first. Here's the version that I'm going to tell of this story. And I'm not, it's like, look, I know I'm not mad. Like, I'm not pissed at Eric. Eric's one of my nearest and dearest friends. I love him into the ground. And so... When we were at NVE, I'm like, this is too much stuff. I can't fly back with all this stuff. I need someone to mail this back to me. Like, you can pack it up in a box, and I just need someone to mail it back to me. Eric said he would mail it back for me. Eric said he would mail it back for me. And so I'm like, cool, it's in good hands. It's whatever. So Eric has the package. He took some liquids. I think he took a bottle of Dewey Boba out of here. Good choice, Eric. Good choice, Eric. I fully support that decision. And then so like... Two weeks go by, and I'm like, I still haven't seen that package from Eric. That's weird. And then, like, three weeks go by. When was NVE in Long Island? A long time ago. A long time ago. Yeah, for sure. And so, finally, I decide to hit Eric up and be like, so, uh, what's up with that package? What's going on with that package? He's like, I have it. (laughs) It's here. He showed it to me in his kitchen. He's like, it's sitting right there. And I was like, oh, all right. And so, we're kind of joking around, like, 
maybe I'll never mail it back to you. And I was like, no, we'll just mail it. And he's like, okay, you know, I'll get to it when I get to it. And then I like guilted him a little bit. And I was like, well, that's all the stuff like from NVE that like I wanted to bring home. Like there's stuff in there I need to review, you know, not to like put a pressure on you, but there is stuff in there I needed to, you know, review like the Tony B swell mod is in here. Right. And there's already a thousand reviews for that. And I've never even tried it because it's sitting oh, in this box. I've tried it. I like sitting it. at Eric's house. Shout out to Tony B. Swell so Mod's great. Eric finally, like, I finally guilted him enough that he was like, all right, I'll, I'll mail it. And so he he mailed it, like, the very next day. I think this is the end of your story. He, he mailed it the very next day. Right, he did. But do, this... Do you know why he mailed it the next day? Why? Because you told him there was something urgent about it. Right. When you first originally asked him to, you are like, hey, dude, I don't have room in my bag for this. I don't want to take it with me. You think you just... <laughs> you think you can mail it for me? You mind mailing it for me or whatever? And he's like, sure, whatever. I can do that. Right. And you weren't like, hey, dude, do you mind like mailing this to me as soon as you can? Because there's stuff I, in here that I need to review. But I say and I my livelihood depends on that I box. You didn't I say that. I forgot about it. That's, I forgot about it. Yeah, that's how unimportant it was. I forgot about you. it. Yeah, you forgot about it. Exactly. That's how it wasn't important at all. And then suddenly you're like, you know what? I want that box. How can I get it from him? Let's try a guilt trip. You know what? <laughs> You know what? Hey, Eric, remember that box you were supposed to send me back like weeks ago? Yeah, that's that I definitely casually what casually asked happened. you to do? That's not what happened. All right. Okay. The point is, I got the box. Eric got me the box. And so this is, this is essentially like a slight time capsule of vape stuff. Mm. Slight time capsule of vape I stuff. I don't mean to take Eric's side on this, but Eric, I feel your pain, man. <laughs> You've never had to mail me anything back from a vape show? No, I would never agree to that. I'd be like, put it in your suitcase. What? What's wrong with you? Look, but Eric, he hooked up some liquid. He hooked up some deep cuts. Dragon Shake. I'm pretty sure there's some deep cuts. Uh, PB Party in here as well. Hi, hi Nick, for your here's pod devices. Uh, here, here's, Tanks. Here's a thing that I had been missing that I was that I was anxiously awaiting. Uh, a, a, bo- a 100 mil bottle of uh, Rich Kids of Instagram from Coil Spill. Ran out of that liquid forever ago. There's some PB Party in here, too. Yeah, PB Party. Have you tried PB Party? Yeah. You really like he it? He sent it to me before. You remember I put it in my Instagram story. I know. And I don't... I didn't... This is the first time I've had to try PB no, Party. No, the reason for that is because, like, everybody was all ra- raving about MTurk's new liquid, and I hadn't gotten it yet. And so I was, like, I was crying about it on Twisted Sundays, and Eric said, oh, I'll send it to you before I send it to anybody else. Oh, so you guilted him. No. Oh, sounds like it. He offered. Out of sounds nowhere. like it. No, I was guilting M Turk. You said you were crying about it. Yeah, about M Turk not sending it to me. And then I told M Turk, I was like, "Hey, bro, just FYI, I can totally buy your liquid. I'm not asking for free liquid, but you should probably send me some free liquid." Because Eric sent me free liquid. There's a me pod in here. Limited edition me pod. Here's what I was looking for. Oh. The swell kit. Yeah, dude. And Eric is a as a pro on the swell kit. In fact, here's what I want to do right now. I'm going to set up the swell kit with some PB party. Oh, good idea. That's what we should do. Why did you put this hat on me? Uh, the rule is if a hat comes in the mail, you look ridiculous. I know. That's why I don't wear hats. I have a giant head. It's bigger than. BG. If a hat comes in the mail, I have someone has to put it on, and I'm already wearing a hat. Oh. So you have to wear that hat. Well, let me let me open it up. All this the is a, a cornucopia of e-liquids. I have I have I have Jazzy Boba, Dewey Boba. I've got some Surf Satisfying, which I haven't had in forever. This was one of my legacy juices for so long. It's in here, and I'm stoked. I even got some Blaz Peach. Shout out Nick Bissett, Daily Vape TV, for the Blaz Peach. I'm excited about that. There's just tons of liquids. That's really all this is, is tons of liquids. We have so many random liquid tastings in here. What's this? Dem Thangs. Dem Thangs, dude. Dem Thangs? Cracking it up right now. I don't even care. You're just going to try it. Prohibition Juice Co. Dem Thangs. Oh, there's another one. I got two 100 mils of Rich Kids. Hell yeah! Oh, that's pretty good. Hell yeah. I think you might like this. Oh, I got some Rescued. Shout out Rescued E-Liquid. They were at NVE. They won best. They won two liquid categories, I believe. Dewey Boba, Jazzy Boa, Broad Spectrum CBD, 
But here's what here's what I really want to do. All this is well and good, and there should be there should be a mech in here. No, uh, maybe not. I thought I had a Ronin competition mech in here. No, dude, hats do don't. not look good on me. No, no, they uh, they don't. No. It's like Wayne from Wayne's World. See, but here's the thing. I have one six mil bottle and one zero milligram bottle. So I'm going to pour them both equally into the tank to make three milligram. Does okay. that work? Yeah. Will that works. work? Yeah, it works. I mean, your math's right. <laughs> Why don't you just put six in there? It's a tank. Mmm. Mmm. All right, here, will you start this process for me? Come on, start this. I want to get, I feel bad that the swell kit never went on to, to YouTube. Get that out of here. I feel bad. I feel bad that the swell kit never made it on YouTube. And look, it's nobody's fault but my own, right? I'm not blaming anybody. Oh, I'm not blaming anybody. the tables anybody. have turned. Oh, you, you are, are a good friend. friend. <laughs> how the tables have turned. But I have a red swell kit. I've heard really good things about the swell kit. Eric is a professional with the swell kit. He knows everything about it. He's a pro with the swell kit. Yeah, this is I've, supposed I've, to be uh, I've like used it a lot. Water watertight, right? Yeah, it's not it doesn't seal the batteries in, but like the mod itself is is, protected. is completely sealed. Oh, it doesn't seal the batteries? Yeah, so your batteries might get wet. So but can, nothing, I mean, what's going to happen? What's the worst what that's going to happen if you have batteries? What would you rather replace, batteries? your mod or your batteries? Yeah. No. Mod. I'd rather replace my mod than my batteries. <laughs> I think that's where I'm landing on this. Okay. I think I'd rather... I think I'd rather... I think I'd rather... Fit. Uh, lump of unworth. I was able to snag... Oh, I already saw that. Thank you. Genie, uh, bring back the menthol burrito. You want another hit? Yeah. You want to try it? Absolutely. All right. Yeah, we do. It's not bad. It's nostalgic. Bring back the menthol burrito. Dude, one time I was in my buddy's house, and he smoked in his house, and he had one of those window air conditioners, and it smelled just like a dingy Chinese hotel room. And you loved it. I loved it. I <laughs> sat there just, oh, man. It smells just like China. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Oh. Tastes just like mung bean with a bunch of mint. <laughs> it tastes like a mentholated bean burrito. I don't know how to... I mean, is that not what you think of? Because you're familiar with the mung bean flavor. This doesn't taste like a bean burrito. Yes, it does. If you had a bean burrito that tastes 200%. like... 200%. If you made a bean burrito with mung beans, you would not like it. It tastes like refried beans to me. Yeah, that's because you don't... It tastes like rosemary to refried beans. You don't, have, you don't have the refined palate of the mung bean Yeah, flavor. I guess not. <laughs> I guess not. All right. Well, there you go, Jeannie. We brought it back. Chris B86, very gracious of you. Thanks, Grim and Twisted Messes. You two are gold together. Please open up another $10 patron spot if you can, Nick. I cannot. At least not right now. At least not right now, man. I don't know. Maybe I'll make an exception. Yeah, for it. We'll, see how it <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Literally no idea another lump of unworth. People started calling me lump. Lump funworth. And that's funny, so I kept it around. You can call me lump or Lumpo, lol, also Hunter Johnson. Um, okay, I'm just going to call you Lump because you, you gave me permission to call you Lump, so I'm definitely calling you Lump. Sick boy. Enjoyable vlog for sure, guys. Hashtag, what does that say? Oh, no nair down there. Uh, <laughs> must be a patron. 100% chance he's a... He's <laughs> uh, I don't know how to open this. We spent the whole... Uh, let's ask Eric. I've never used the tank in mine. I just took the tank and I, I didn't. I threw it away to be honest with you because I don't use tanks really. Mostly. How do you open this? That's what I was curious about. It's like one of those magic puzzles. Oh yeah, you figured it out. It's a pull tab thing, guy. It's easier. It's going to be easier when the tanks together. Okay. Uh, sick boy. Yeah. So we spent uh, we spent like an hour the other day streaming with the patrons, and all we talked about was hair. <laughs> All we talked about was hair. Rescued Vels is the bomb. Thanks for that. Thanks for that, Stan. Thank you for that. I, I, I like the Rescued E-Liquid, and I want to try that Vels. I like the Ben uh, just a whole bunch. The domino effect. Very gracious of you. Price is right. Rules. Stan, I win the bid. Oh. I don't know what that is. I don't know what's well, going you know, on there. You know Pri what price I, look, right I know that the price is right. Oh, okay. He Okay, I see there was a joke. Because Stan... 
donated, donated a very one. gracious two dollars. Domino Effect did two oh one, so you do win the bid, Domino Effect, and you win a mung bean pod. <laughs> Don't get his hopes up. Just let me send you a mung bean pod. Eifer, I want to try this mung bean pod. No, Eifer. You do not. <laughs> well, we've really talked it up. You do not want to try this mung bean pod. All right, Eric, how do the batteries go in? What? Is it right here? It's plus, big plus, big minus. Oh, that's not very clearly marked sled. Mm. What about this side? Oh, it's opposite. Obviously. No, 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 no. Okay, Nick. I know it's your first day vaping. <laughs> Did you set that all up for me? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Gotta One, two, prime three, that four, tank. Five. Won't turn on. I'm taking the head off. No. That's a stupid rule. <laughs> I didn't mean, I didn't invent the rule. Yeah, you did. I know I did. Why why is that so hard for you? I put them both in uh, parallel instead of series. That goes on the other side of the mod I know. completely. I, I've used this mod. I'm just... I haven't. I'm just reveling I'm in that. trying to figure it out. That's a really pretty screen. That's a really pretty screen. No, yeah. And it automatically broadcasts a Bluetooth available hookup for your phone. Really? Yeah. Automatically? Yeah. If you pop up your Bluetooth, if you were to break the rule of not looking at your phone during the vlog, then you could look and it would have Swell Mod as an option. And I've you never just, you connect to it and there's an app or something. There's a Swell Mod app. I've never used it, so don't quote me on that. I haven't watched any uh, Swell Mod reviews. I've only been schooled by. Uh, I watched your up. Look, I've only been schooled by Eric. I'm just saying, it. please take the hat off. There's a lot of requests in the chat to get this hat off of my head. All right, at the end of this segment, you can take the hat off. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> the end of the segment, you can take a hat off. What do you think? 0.1650 Oh, watts? the new rule in the vlog is you have to wear a tutu now. Just put it on. Hmm. That's actually pretty good. I'm going to turn up the wattage here. So it's already primed watts. ready to go? It's primed and ready to go. Can I actually try that? Before it's primed up fully? Let's see. It's pretty fucking tasty. That's really good. It's pretty tasty, man. That might be one of the better oh, peanut butters. A, oh, this is the first time you tried PB. Yeah, this is my first oh, time. Dude, it's delicious. Well, it's not my first time. I had a little sample bit of it uh, at yeah. MBE, but I didn't get but to like, vape, it, vape, vape it. I vaped 120 mils of it in one week. You did already? Yeah. I was surprised at how much I liked it. The PB party is delicious. Yeah, PB party is pretty legit. I it's like that there's good. some sweetness on the end, so it doesn't just taste like like yeah. peanut butter or like popcorn or like something. You, you'd have to tell me that it's peanut butter, honestly, for me to... It just tastes like a good. It's a hearty. It vapes like a really good tobacco. That's what is it that vapes why I like, like to it? me. I love tobacco liquids. I'm a huge tobacco liquid fan. Yeah, because well, tobacco liquids don't taste like tobacco. Like the ones that actually are like cigarette flavored, like with a tobacco. You yeah, they the end extract. up with mung bean. No, it just tastes. It tastes like. You know, fresh tobacco. Yeah. All the other tobacco. Like leaf like tobacco. Like the reason he says he's like, he tastes like a tobacco is because he started vaping like 2010 or something. <laughs> when all the tobaccos were like butterscotch or something. Like oh. I, I RY4, bought a, RY3, RY2? Yeah, those are a different Not perfumey. RY3. I never tried try RY3. RY2. I only tried RY4. Did you try RY1? Oh, only four. Okay. Well, so sorry. It was popular. It didn't, but that tasted, you know, like not like a dessert It was caramely. It, wasn't it was a caramely tobacco. But not super. That's, can you not stop hogging this? All right, fine. Anyway, that's why it doesn't taste anything like tobacco is what I'm trying to get across. I kind of like the soft resin panels on this. I kind of like prefer the, feel the G10. I kind of like this really clicky button. I really like this screen. No, it's a it's nice a little mod, bit dude. lightweight for me. It's it? a little lightweight, but it's powerful mod. It's a little lightweight, but it is powerful. It's, and it's I not got no so lack light of power here. It's not so light that it's a problem. This is this segment's over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. That's fine. No, we can continue the segment. The Guess hat is off. Guess who's never coming back on the vlog? Because he broke a vlog rule. Hey, it's your funeral. And this will not stand. It's your funeral, Nick. I invented vlogs. It vapes like a really good tobacco. 
It tastes like it tastes like a peanut butter tobacco to me. I'm, I don't know. I don't mean that as a slam, but that's what it sounds it like. It tastes like tobacco. Everyone Vapes who's like an never, awesome tobacco. never tried a vape tobacco, they just associate that with like a pipe tobacco or something. No, it doesn't. It, it tastes t- like peanut butter tobacco. It doesn't taste anything like tobacco, even a little bit. It vape. It okay. It tastes like can. it tastes it like a vape yeah. style yeah. tobacco flavor. <laughs> it air t- quotes. It vapes. It tastes. Mm, blah blah blah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, this vlog is over. Um, Money. it vapes like a tobacco. It tastes like a sweet, hearty peanut butter. The real, like a rich, hearty peanut butter. Okay, now I get and what you're saying. Vapes, finally, it vapes to me like a good tobacco. Like if I was in the mood or had the craving for like a real good tobacco, and I had no tobaccos. I would go PB party all the way. That will satisfy what this you're craving. saying. Let's clarify because everyone thinks you're saying it tastes like tobacco. Not vapes like a tobacco. Yeah. The sensation of vaping it is like a satisfying tobacco vape, but the flavor is not even close to the tobacco. The flavor is peanut butter. Peanut butter. The flavor is like a sweet ish peanut butter. Nice. Yeah. Light. Very light. Light peanut butter with a nice light peanut butter. Creamy it's a hearty sweet vape, finish. Though. It's a creamy. It's, it's a hearty. hearty. It's yeah. a hearty. I would say it's hearty. Yes. Hearty. It's yeah. a hearty vape. Hearty. Hearty. You want any more hearty vape? Yeah, absolutely. You want me to hold it and I'll press the button? Okay, we can do that. Okay. <laughs> the wink was completely unnecessary and makes me never want to do that again. All right. Good. Good. So the end of the story, the moral of the story is thank you, Eric, for the PB party. Thank you, Eric, for the package. I finally got the swell, and I'm going to use it, and I'm going to vape it, and I got a whole mess of liquids for future random liquid tastings. Pot and soil. Just a little blackberry pot and soil. Oh, my God. It really does. Very much. Good Lord. Good Lord. You guys want to go find these in your local grocery no, store? No, don't. Don't just don't just or you should. I don't know. I'm not the boss of you. Definitely go do it. So now we have two segments left to do. Um, One of them involves you doing something. So we're going to do this right now. A boosh. Mike's still on. Oh, sorry. But they can see it. It's obviously retro vaping. I don't want to. The music is so cool. You're just ruining it. Here's, Sorry. <laughs> so um, one of the things, so I have, I pulled out something to retro vape. I'm not going to reveal it just yet. The first thing I pulled out to retro vape, um, because Kent was going to be here, is his, is his little square atomizer. What was, the, what was this one called? TM cubed. This is the TM cubed. Yeah. And uh, for those not familiar with the TM cubed, it had these uh, sort of like airflow, independent airflow dials. On the side. Yeah, discs. Discs. We'll call it a disc, right? A disc. And it was a square atomizer that I could never get to sit right on any mod ever. So you didn't even ask how to do it. Shouldn't need to. There's an O-ring Shouldn't on it. Shouldn't need to. Shouldn't need to. This is a sore subject, you guys. Kidding. He's really pushing my buttons right now. I know I am. And I'm not going to fall for it. That's why I have it. this out. I'm not going to rage. Kidding. So the reason that I couldn't retro vape it is because the o-rings degraded on the bottom and just broke off into a bunch of tiny yeah. chunks yeah that'll happen and that sucks it sits but i really years. wanted to retro vape this coils are still there you want to wick this up uh no absolutely no, not, we'll not that's wick this filthy up. dude i know it's pretty gross it needs to be cleaned. look at the posts what that's how they're supposed to look no no the posts are all like caked and like tarnish like really tarnished yeah you left liquid in there i know I left liquid in there too long. Yours. I just, I mostly keep this because this is the one RDA that Kent and I argue about because he always brings it up. Yeah, I do. <laughs> you want me to tell the story? Tell the story. Okay, you guys. So tell your version. Uh, thank story. God, Why I can finally tell my version. Uh, who knows what you did to it? Feel it. No. Feel the center post. Dude, it's warm. The five ten pin gets hot on any RDA if you just dry fire the coils and then touch it immediately. Really? Yeah. It's just when the first time it happens to you, you're like, oh, wow, why is that so hot? This is the first time I've experienced that. Yeah, that's the first time that you've probably dry fired it, taken it directly off, and, and then touched, touched it, it okay. directly with your that hand. That could be. Yeah. Yeah. That's because like, the first time that happened to me, I was like, oh, my God, there's a problem with the RDA. 
Oh, but it's not. But it wasn't. So basically, you guys. Thank you, Eddie. I wanted to make a square deck because it'll give a lot more room for the coils, which it does, and your wicks. Just pop pop right down. So you can fit like way bigger coils in a square deck. That's why I did it, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so also, I had the Twisted Messes version one, the Twisted Messes squared. Which was uh, the version two. Instead of doing a version two, I wanted to be cool and make it, you know, to the second power squared. Square. Which is really confusing because it's round RDA. And then yeah. I wanted to do a s- actual square RDA, but call <laughs> it the cubed to the three, you know, because it's like the third one. Anyway, this was a very expensive project and difficult. Like to make a square deck, it's a lot of extra machining that goes into that because you're not just like. Make a round thing. Make a round thing. It's like, like the machine has to do a lot more stuff. Like it's an expensive, yeah, complicated process. Complicated process. And it's a feat of engineering that hadn't been done before. Because <laughs> people did the square top cap with a round deck, which makes no point at all. Hasn't been done since either, yeah. Kent. Yeah, hasn't been done since. Yeah, you're goddamn right. It hasn't. <laughs> How are you going to follow up the most amazing square RDA you've ever seen? <laughs> With disc airflow, the only beat that square RDA. Anyway, I've ever you guys. Seen. So here's what Nick. I always send Nick my new. Not anymore. That was the last product I sent to Nick. Yep. During release, where I was Facts. like, send it to everybody for promotion and everything. I'm like, hey, yeah, check out my new thing. Not me. Immediately, what he does is he takes it, goes on an Instagram story, and says, <sighs> with no coils, did not build it. <laughs> Took it out of the box, inhaled on it, and made a slight whistling sound. Not even a loud whistle. Not even like a train whistle whistle. It was like you had to concentrate to notice it was whistling. He goes, God, can't. Your RDA. This cubed RDA whistles. <laughs> whistles real loud. Right? Release. I had just, it was a release day. Okay, okay. okay. The d- volume. It was the day of the release. I can tell you're getting all worked up here. Yeah. I had a... Me and Beyond and Air Aria had a lot of money invested in this thing, mm-hmm. right? And so, it like, have whistled then. if it had whistled really with coils in it, as it had been designed, fine, say it whistles. If you take it out of the box, immediately notice a little bit of a whistly sound when it's empty. I mean, that's fucked up. That's <laughs> defamation. People, distributors were hitting me up and saying, Oh my God, this thing whistles. I'm like, no, it doesn't. He was just I, made- I corrected it instantly. Instantly. Two, instantly. Two stories later. Nope. It was the very next story. Yeah. Hours very later. Very next story. The damage had been done. That's all I'm saying. You can't so just make my a retraction. one Instagram story that was up for two hours. Caused a huge problem. Caused a huge problem for People you. People look at you. I corrected yes. it right away. Well, you're like the, one of the. I corrected you're it right away. You're at the top. You're at the very it right top away. echelon. You didn't correct it. You didn't delete it. You left I it up. I corrected it right away. You left I up the original the story. I did leave up the original yeah, story. You but that's when I was it. new at Instagram. I didn't know how to delete them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All I'm saying is that he was like, whatever, dude. That's funny. And I'm like, dude, there's literally posts on Instagram. See, hashtag TM cubed. It doesn't whistle, we promise, because we bought 100 of these. Like people's like businesses were affected by your one little Instagram story. Which See, really, you that don't... was just supposed to be fun. Like I was supposed, it was supposed to be... It was supposed to be something that I thought Dwayne would have done. Like, oh, can't fucking whistly RDA, no. bro. Maybe after a month of release or something, when like literally people, there was a review that existed. That was the first review that was done on the cubed RDA. Was it whistles? You guys, I'm not mad about it still. <laughs> <laughs> You definitely are. Hon- honestly, though. Okay. Can I, can I just say my piece about the cubed RDA? Because like. That's the RDA that I'm kind of like the most proud of, even though it didn't do that great. And I personally don't enjoy vaping it very much. <laughs> no. <it's laughs> but like the fact that we that we made it, we did it. It's like putting a man on the moon, man. Yeah. It's square deck. Yeah. Come square on, deck. That's crazy. It is. It's a very Kent thing to do. And this story gets brought up literally every time we hang out. Every time we hang out. Yes. Every single fucking time we hang out. You know, what? but the last time, dude. Thing is, the thing is, that this is like really messed up. It's because the last time we hung out, I said, "Okay, I'm I'm sorry. You know what? I'm over it. I forgive you. Don't worry about it." Yeah, Except we had a closure. We had closure, and you know what you did? You were what? like, "Oh, can't come on the vlog. Let's bring this back up into Look, the light I just spotlight." Said- <laughs> I can't remember when I did this thing that you were really mad about. 
<laughs> that we already agreed we'll never bring up again. <clears throat> well, here we are. You all know the Listen, story. I probably look bad now. For us. You know? For, look. I got angry. For us. <laughs> <laughs> for us, though, for us, though, it's water under the bridge, right? Like, for us, it's water under the bridge. Yeah. I so mean, I felt confident, like, that I could bring that out and it wouldn't affect our friendship. Of or, course or not. Really, right. It wouldn't. Of course not. No. Who it's cares? just funny. It's funny. And you get all work, super worked up about it. And yeah. for the record, I feel bad about that. And I told you that. I told you that I felt bad about that. Oh, so because right Because that now... was a time, that was a real ambiguous time for me in the vape world because I didn't, I didn't, I, I go through these like ambiguous times where it's like, you know, it's like a, your midlife crisis. I'm like, what's my role in the vape industry? Like, what am I even doing here? What am I contributing to? You don't know the effect you have and you don't know the reach that you have. Uh, so that, that little, and so snippet, that little snippet was just meant to be like me, a like, little rebound. Like if I was anybody else on Instagram, it w it would have been funny, but because distros are watching it yeah, and canceling their orders on <laughs> you, <laughs> I didn't know that that was that what happened. I didn't know that's what was going on. And so when you DM would me or when you texted me after that happened, you're like, bro, what the fuck? And you were like legitimately like angry about it. <laughs> yeah. I like didn't get it. I'm like, what's the big deal? What's the big deal, Ken? I was just joking yeah. around. Well, the, the thing is, the reason it was recurring is because every time I'd bring it up and try to explain the impact it had, you would cut me off and say, it's not a big deal. I don't know why you're so mad about that. <laughs> I did. I would do that. You wouldn't listen to but me. But I finally heard you out. You finally heard me out. We got over it. Yeah, we did completely. Completely got over it. Obviously, he's not upset even a little bit anymore. Look at me. It's water. I, I, it's I old. admit it. I feel bad about that. I that, and 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 look from then. I I haven't done something like that from then on. No, you never. I've never like again preemptively said like this is garbage or you know I from then on it like changed my whole mindset and that's when I started like waiting a really long time to review stuff because I wanted to spend so much time with it so I make sure I didn't do oh, another fucking Kent. So I ruined RDA your thing. life is what you're saying. No, I'm, I'm saying, not, I'm not, saying I'm not you slipping my into life. this guilt trip. I'm not saying you ruined my life. I'm saying you started holding me accountable for my actions that are on the internet that I don't see the effects of even though there are probably effects of. Like if I say dude, something rules, something you sucks. Did, what you did I with the information is on you. <laughs> okay. All yeah. I'm saying is up to the point of how it affected me with a cubed RDA. Everything after that that you altered your life and changed your path and all that, nothing to do with me. That I know. was your decision. I'm I not know. taking responsibility I'm for not, anything that happened. It's not responsibility. If in five years credit. from now your vape channel is destroyed and everything, you're like, Can't remember that time when I started overthinking all of my product reviews? That was your fault. And you're the reason that I'm now no no longer having a chance. I'm not taking responsibility <laughs> for that. For future Nick, just let him know. Boom. Ah, wow, that's a mic drop. <laughs> nah, not really. Drop the mic. All right, I apologize. So the actual retro vaping that we have now that we've got way off, way off course. We have the original. This is the Twisted Messes 30. Twisted Messes did a 30 millimeter atomizer. And, and what was your reasoning behind doing a big 30 millimeter atomizer? People wanted a 30. You just wanted to do it. People wanted it. So you gave it to them. Yeah, what the market was missing at the time was a super simple 30 that'll fit your coils and vape good. And so, as Kent pointed out, this is his build in here that he he built. He built this in here no, and sent it to me, and I have never actually built the 30 millimeter out of mine. Maybe I did build it. Did you yeah. build it? I, I just believed you when you said you did. You I looked know. at the coil so confident, and you're like, I built that. Yeah, because I didn't look. I didn't look closely. And then I went. I left the room. I looked at him. I washed it, and I came back, and I said, "I don't think I built this for you." Oh, okay. Well, but you weren't hearing that. Regardless, you were busy. here's some uh, here's some cotton bacon. I'm gonna read through the super chats. Well, well, Kent Wicks his own 30 millimeter RDA. Here's some vape shears. I work very slowly, so you might cotton read bacon. A lot These of are those big four millimeter coils in here. Four millimeter mm -hmm. coils in here. What liquid are we gonna put in it? You want to grab that rescued e liquid? Do this. Let's take Stan Tenacious TX vapes. What is the flavor? Uh, strawberry kiwi. Okay. You'll be into it. Yeah, dude, Jessica Jones. That. She's lump. She's lump. She's lump. She's in my head. Still love that song. You guys remember that song? Hell yeah, we remember that song. Jessica Jones. Average Adam, actually awesome. Yo, yo, I stopped by to drop a five. I'll ch catch the replay at work. Keep up the great work. Were you both? Hashtag Cool Kids Club. Average Adam, actually awesome. Yo, yo, I too. Yeah, appreciate you stopping by. British eyes. Great vlog, Nick. So so cool 
to let up and comers in the industry to gain some popularity. Never heard of this guy, but he seems like a solid dude. I know. It's so nice. Actually, we, sh- we could talk about that. We could talk about how I actually helped you get into the industry. Yeah. We don't want to talk about I that. I think that's what you had to bring up last time for me to forgive you about that. Q Crispy thing. 80. I know. I, oh, that's the conversation we constantly have. <laughs> that's the conversation we constantly have. Crispy 86. Very gracious of you. You two are epic. No, we're not. We're just dumb. That's the thing. For British eyes only. Kent, my girlfriend needs to know why seltzer and not soda. What do you mean seltzer? Seltzer oh, water, why not I don't soda. Drink soda? Because it's full of sugar. No, se- seltzer or soda. Like no, s- club soda? Can't my girlfriend needs to know why seltzer and not soda. Soda, it's the sugar. Yeah. It's the sugar. Why do I drink seltzer instead of it's soda? The sugar. It's the sugar. I don't Aaron want McGill, the sugar. very gracious of you. Bad Love food. you guys. So NVE Atlanta in January? Maybe. Atlanta, Squonk or dude, die we should hounds? go to Atlanta. We should go to Atlanta. I want to go back to Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. Atlanta was where, was that where the Cyclone Bar was? Where they let us vape inside? Was that in Atlanta or was that in Ohio? Oh, I think so. No, I think that was... And no, Atlanta is where Detroit. we went to that Hooters. <laughs> Honestly, it's all a blur. It is all we a blur. We go to so many Every city looks very similar after a while. Matt Sinister, very gracious of you, man. Looking forward to seeing you at ECC. I'll be there working 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. Club Graveyard. Did you get my housewarming gift? If not, it was stolen. Uh, I may have got your housewarming gift. It may be in a box in the guest bedroom. It may be there. And if it is there, it's getting opened on the very next vlog that I have, Matt Sinister. I really appreciate that. The domino effect. Gotta run, ladies and Kents. (laughs) 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 Keep it steel. Thank you, Domino Effect. Really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. Yep, it's true, British Eyes. Kent does hate you. Mm. There's not a lot of people he hates, but he's told me. He's like, that fucking guy, British Eyes. Who, oh, what does he think? Big coils? Yeah, real cool. Real cool, <laughs> British Eyes. Well, what? You could build a real big alien. We get it. Oh, my God. You're mean. That's what he said to me last night. We were swimming in the pool. And <laughs> it was like I out of the blue. That. What the We fuck? were just swimming out of the blue. He's like... <laughs> You know who I can't stand? Did I say that? No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Could I have convinced you that you did? I think maybe. And I'd be like, <laughs> why was I being so mean? It was all that potting soil you were drinking. It it, it agitates the you. senses. All right. So we're doing some of this juice. This one an award? So you put a giant. Yeah, it's a lot of wick. That's cool. It's too much wick. I agree. It's a lot of wick. It's too much wick. That's You're going to take like 10 mils of liquid to saturate all that wick. That was the whole point. Were you trying to save this for a rainy day? Well, no. I'm, let it soak in. Juice. Let it soak in. Don't flood it. I'm not going to flood Kent, it. Kent, what are you new here? Dude. I'm just kidding. I'm giving Kent a hard time. We're tasting that rescued e-liquid. This stuff tastes good in my mouth. Like as it far does? as like the, the on your tongue, on the, on the back of the hand. The back of the hand taste. We call that the knuckle test. The knuckle test. The delicious. knuckle test. What do you have? The to, knuckle test. Can you turn this up to way more? Yeah, you can turn, adjust the wattage. Uh, we got a super chat here from Stan. He seems a little angry. Uh, what the hell? You have another room? I've been wondering what happened to the package. You want to open it? Lol. I will, Stan. Um, I will. I'll, I'll open it. I'll definitely get to it, Stan. Don't even trip, dog. Don't even trip. Are you going to be at ECC, Stan? If you're not, you should come out, and, and I'll make sure it gets opened. You don't even worry about that. I, there's not a vape mail that I have never not opened. That doesn't say it again. Yeah, that, that, that didn't make... There's not a vape mail that I haven't not opened. That still works. There's no vape mail that I have not opened. That's what I just said. That is not what you said. <laughs> it's basically what I just said. How's that TM2430 Pro Series going? Oh, 30 Pro on. is not out yet. Why don't you just do that? It's I will. <laughs> Okay, that touch screen. It's like swipe watching down your thing. younger brother play video games. It's like just just give me the controller. I'll pass this level for you. Yeah, it used to happen to me. But when you were when what you were, wattage do you want? Eighty? What? No, one hundred and twenty, dude. It's the thirty millimeter. Give me a break. I don't know if this can do one hundred and twenty watts. Uh, it goes up farther. It can do. Okay, how's one hundred and nineteen? That's fine because it's too hard to click back up one. I understand that. All right, you go for it. I just wanted to dry fire it. Okay. Are you putting more juice in there? Or liquid? No, I want a liquid. I want to taste more it. More liquid? Mmm. See what I mean? Dang. Yeah. 
the Indian. Whoa, ones. Vulcan, whoa. The knuckle test is delicious for sure. Dang. You mind? I do not mind. Go right ahead. It's your RDA. Do you man. mind? It's your RDA. What up, Schnells? Come here. You know, the, the thing about the drip tip on this Take is it. like, it's so long. I don't really like how it looks, but it mm-hmm. works so well in your mouth. Watch. I like this drip tip. I like this drip tip a lot. Shniko just came by to say hi. You can't see her. She's camouflaged into the... Oh, mom's home. Yep, go. Go. Hit it. It's just so much airflow. Can I turn the airflow down? No. That no. liquid is good. Yeah, no, turn the wattage up because the airflow is stuck like that. The O-rings are too old. Okay. What should I turn the wattage up to? 140. 140? Just max it out. I'm going <clears> to <throat> put some more liquid yeah, in Yeah, I there. agree. So, uh, yeah, Rescued E-Liquid Vulcan is kind of legitly no, awesome. It's really good. It's really good. Yeah. That is like stupid good. No joke. That's delicious. 140. I can't even remember the last time I vaped above 100 watts right it's now. It's a 30 millimeter RDA with a lot of airflow. Better, right? Wow. Yeah. That's actually a really good vape. Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, really good. I I never had that good of an experience with that, and it's probably because I didn't turn up the wattage enough. Yeah, you're probably vaping at 75 or something. Like, yeah, it's maybe close this airflow up a little bit more. Yeah, maybe it's a little bit. That's more. what I have the tendency to do: is turn my airflow down, if and turn my wattage down. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, that's good. This is amazing. Yeah, and the flavor's even good. The flavor's better. Yeah. Like well, that's flavor, what I mean. That's why I vape like this. I'm not saturated. vaping like this. I'm not. Va- I don't vape at higher wattages with like lots of airflow and stuff because I just want that experience necessarily of like, oh, I'm getting a big vape. It's because it's like <laughs> it's uh, it's also because like, give me that big vape. It's like way better flavor. Yeah. It's like when you eat a, a strawberry starburst. You mm-hmm. like those? Yeah. Who doesn't yeah. like strawberry yeah, exactly. starburst? You eat a strawberry starburst. I'm American, you're like, aren't I? You're like, mm, that's delicious. And then you're like, what if I put three in my mouth at once? And you're like. Whoa, that's <laughs> a fucking strawberry starburst, bro. You know, that's kind of how I vape, you know, all the time. You want three strawberry starbursts yes. all the time. Ever not since I was one, a kid. Not I, a half. I remember the sensation as a kid of opening like five strawberry starbursts at the same time, putting one in, putting the next in, putting the next in. It keeps getting better and better. I'm just like, oh my God, how good can this get? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. You know what I do that with? You know those uh, Annie's fruit snacks? They're like gummy rabbits in oh, a little cellophane that's thing. That's new school. I tear that open and I grab the whole wad of bunnies and I just eat it. <laughs> yeah, massacre. Because <laughs> it's a wad. It's just like a wad of gummy bunnies and I just crush it. Yeah, that's why I'm into that. Yeah. Apparently, strawberry Xanax, apparently, 140 watts. Let me give me, let me give some more of that. Yeah, see? Come on, let me get some more of see? that. See? This, this is an example of one of the Kent vapes where he's like, oh my God. Every time I vape Kent's vape, I'm like, God, this is so much better than mine. This is good. Very good. Yeah. The, dude, the TM30 Pro I'm working on, I'm in, I'm in love with I'm it. I'm going to take this set up to ECC. I don't blame you. I'm At gonna... least the 30 millimeter. I might put it on a hexome or something to fit it better. Yeah, it does hang over a it bit. It hangs over on this Minikin 3. That's the issue with the 30 millimeters. It hangs hang over a little what bit. What doesn't it hang over? I have that Hammer of God mod. Yeah. But this that's series, isn't what's it? This, what's this? What's the ohm resistance? 0.18. That's yeah, too it's low too for low. the hammer god. It's too low. But I'm bringing this rescued e-liquid Vulcan, and I'm bringing this TM30 on something to ECC. Because I can't be without this vape now. 140 watts. Better bring some batteries. That's the best retro vaping I've ever had. Like, that's the best fucking retro well, vaping I've ever had. Well, it's not that old. How old is the TM30? 2016, three years. Three years, still. In the vape world, that might as well be 10 years. You're right, it's true. Holy shit, that's good. Yeah, I could Holy vape, I could, shit, I could, that's I could vape good. that all day. I'm going to vape that all night. Yeah, I'm going to vape that all night. Holy crap. I mean, have to give a some... Dang, Kent. Dang, Kent. Oh, you just do a little clip of a... Uh, no, the button got stuck. Oh. I can do a little clip like this, but the button gets stuck. Sometimes. Okay, so we're still live. I mean, there's no bumper playing. No, we're definitely live right now. Okay, hello. Okay, yeah. Uh, that's awesome. 
can't. This this liquid is delicious. That liquid is fire. I can't believe how fire. good that is. Uh, it's almost unbelievable. Like, sir, I've never. Who made this? Rescued. The hat you had on that you wanted to take off. You want to put it back on now? Show your support for fucking rescued nope. liquid. Nope. Okay. Okay, fine. Well, we are winding down here to the end of the vlog. We got about five minutes left, give or take. We can go a little bit over. Who cares? Uh, but what I want to do is make sure I'm all caught up on the super chats. Here we go. Uh, I, I want to do some favorite comments of the week. This is going to be... Uh, this gonna be <laughs> Let's do this. I didn't think ahead. That's fine. Here we go. Ready? Hang on. Don't uh, read that. Oh. Oh. Shit. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> he set up the smoke alarm in his yeah. own house, dude. I told you to disable it. It's in the kitchen. No. Which one's going off? Who knows? How many do you have? He has these really sensitive smoke alarms. Really sensitive. Too sensitive. I got out of the shower. I took like one, one toot in there or whatever. Yeah. And set up yeah. a smoke alarm. That was one. <laughs> two. That was you were cloud chasing in there. Well, two. You were cloud chasing in there. I always cloud chasing. You chase. were cloud chasing in there. <laughs> we're cloud chasing in there. I chased All right, the so clouds. uh first favorite comment of the week comes from the Crystal Kid and, and I was saving this. It was a chat from uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, and he said, the original recoil is the absolute best RDA. Dude, can I just give you a shout out for this really cool live setup that you can overlay a chat right on there? Dude, nicely done, Nick. That's amazing. It's not difficult. If I can do it, a monkey could do this. He says that about a lot of things. <laughs> if you've seen his intros, he makes those himself. Yeah, okay, okay, good. okay. Second favorite comment of the week uh, comes from uh, Sifu. He commented on the Artery Pal 2 Pro and said, uh, Red's dead, baby. Red's dead. You know what that's from? You know how to say actually his name? What, S Sifu? Sifu. <laughs> Sifu. It means master in Chinese. Sufu. 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 Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, master mustache. Uh. That makes a lot of sense. Uh. He does have a master mustache. Dang, Sufu. Dang, Sifu. Carry on. Let's get to this third favorite comment of the week. I think this came from Twitter, and it says, uh, what does it say? The media needs to stop using the word vaping as a ger uh, generalization and specify what's being vaped by these people having major lung issues. Um. I just wanted to put this out there because I could literally not agree more. Could not agree more. What, do you, what up, Shniko? Hey, Shniko, come here. Yeah, jump up. No, here, let her in. Come through there. There you go. Up on the, there you go. There you go. It's always something, isn't it, that they're doing uh, to vaping? Yeah, and as Angela Garrity has pointed out, as I've pointed out a thousand times, vaping is just the verb. Vaping is the action. Yeah. So what they're vaporizing matters. Not just that they're vaporizing it. It's what they're vaping. <laughs> Hi, Shniko. I know. It's what they're vaping that is critical. Here, you want to go see Ma? Yeah, she no, wants she, to be she's on TV, fine. Dude. She's fine. She can hang out. She's fine on the blog. No, no, go see Mom. All right. She's got that lust for fame. Fourth favorite comment of the week. And what do you agree with this? I mean, come on. What's with all these long? It's THC. It's bad stuff. It's black market yeah. illicit stuff. No, but they just, keep calling it vaping. The How thing is, that, dude, that like, makes me angry on a only, daily basis. I can only get so angry about something, you know? And like, I guess it's important to continue saying that those are not jewels. Yeah, those it's are not, not a vape nicotine based cartridge that you buy in a vape shop or dispensary. Those are something that's unregulated black market product that's causing people problems. Yeah, 100%. So. 100%. I just want to throw that out there because of you know, it's what's going around, man. Fourth favorite comment of the week did not show up. Uh, so that's okay. Uh, I just want to say Addy Tooney had the fourth favorite comment of the week, and he said, I couldn't concentrate with Julie Newmar over your shoulder. That's Julie Newmar. That's Catwoman. Oh, she's pretty. Yeah. She was one of, you know, she, Julie Newmar was like my first crush as a kid when I watched that Batman original series. Fifth, oh, whoops. What, did I not load all the comments of the week in here? Wow, I am terrible at this. Well, you don't get to see it. Uh, but this guy, Sam I am said, I see RTA in the title. I watch RTA master race. Are you familiar with the master race idea? PC master race, things like that. Where people who use RTAs 
feel that RTAs are generally uh, better than I've drippers. never heard that term ever. Master vaping. race, like PC master race, like uh, people that use PCs versus Macs. Right. I had never heard that culture. It's like an internet Reddit Reddit thing before in my okay. life. Well, sixth favorite comment. See, you praised me. And now none of the comments of the week are working. My Kevin. apologies. You should not have praised me so highly. So finally, okay, let's just do Kathy21's final favorite comment of the week. Uh, thanks, Nick, for the re-review. I do, however, have a question about RDAs. That's why you're here. What one would you recommend to a beginner and a squonk mod as well? Any help would be greatly appreciated. Thank you, Nick. That's from Kathy21. Let's get her an RDA and a squonker. What squonk mod? Squonk mod, I don't know. You you have to take that because right I'm out of the gate, I'm gonna say top side, top side, top side, top oh, side. Oh yeah, top side, right? Top side, top side. Yeah, and the RDA, I mean, whatever you like to use for squonking. Pretty much every RDA has a squonk pin. If you're a beginner, I mean, the twisted messes works really well. But I've heard from some people that they don't like the twisted messes for squonking because it doesn't have a separated juice well. So it depends on what's important to you. Right. That's what she's asking. Like, what's a recommendation? <laughs> what's a good squonk atomizer? Pulse is a good squonk atomizer. I would. Here's what I would do. Here's what I would do. I would do the original recurve on a top side. Because yeah. it's a little single coil squonker that you can really squonk the juice and flood that chamber. And yeah. when you let and if it you're go, using it the top side, it. you and need you, a single coil RDA to get enough power out. Yeah, of and if you're using the top side, a single coil RDA on top is going to be awesome anyway. I agree with you. I agree yeah. with you as well, Ken. For the record, I'm not saying a dual coil, coil RDA is not going to work well on a single battery like mod. All I'm saying is that crap you cam, won't have, you won't have the full effect available, the full range you know, of benefits available. Right. I don't, I wasn't listening to anything you just said. Well, I'm glad you agreed because it was yeah. incriminating to you. I agreed. I uh, agreed. I agree with you, Ruby Roo. Too much juice talk tonight. Damn it. Liquid. We were slacking. We were slack. I was slacking because of you. Yeah, because I'm not going to change that. my lexicon yeah, before, to please you. Before the vlog even started, he gave me this whole big speech. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whole big speech in the kitchen about how he refuses to change the way he talks yeah. for me. Your Orwellian well, new juice. juice policies. It's juice. It's not as it's whatever. It's the liquid that we've been vaping for years. Yes. That I've been calling juice without thinking about it. Right. And I can't just change what I am as a person because you can't change one simple word in your vocabulary. I don't want to. Why would I? It fucks with your lexicon, dude. It fucks with that deep neuromuscular sensation in your brain when you speak you know my linguistic paradigm will not be altered by your rules all right it's, <laughs> it's just one word oh it starts out like Liquid. that yeah i'm not i've never asked anybody to say anything ever ever Hmm. I personally, yeah, you personally. want to say liquid. Yeah, and that's how it starts. It's a slippery slope. Next, you're going to have me changing what I call myself <laughs> when I wake up in the morning. Or else I won't be good enough for you, Nick. None you know of what? this I'm is real. I'm living up to my own standards. So we're clearly here at the end of the vlog. We're clearly tired. Kent is clearly annoyed with even being here. You what? should see the way he's sitting on my couch. It's no, really bizarre. No, my lower bizarre. back hurts a little bit because this couch is not the greatest for sitting for long periods of time. But I can adapt. I'm ready to keep going. No, we're not going to keep going. Why? This is where we've come to the end of the vlog. This is the end of the vlog. Okay, you can't get my hopes up and say, oh, we're going to do a three-hour vlog when you come <laughs> over. And then all of a sudden at the end, you feel a little tired and you're ready to be like, I'm tapping out, Kent. No, we can't do a three-hour vlog. Why? We can't. I don't okay, want to cut wait, into wait, wait. I don't want to cut you into that. That's what, what she said. I don't want to you know cut what, into the vape you team. You know what we forgot? What? One in the comments for three-hour vlog, two for no. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Because now it's actually go. live, the one and two thing. We're not going to do another hour. The we one and two thing hour. actually works in the live, though. We can't do another hour. What? Because we're going to cut into that's what she said, or we're going to cut into the vape team. We could do another half hour if you want. Okay, guys. If if we... Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. They what? love it. They love the two-hour, three-hour, dude. Oh, well, those four people do. 42. Yeah. Two, okay. two, oh, two. Twos. Oh, we got some twos. twos. Wait, are those the people running the other vlogs? That's a seven. That's a... Yeah. That's a... No, two. Two. Ooh. Three? What is that? That's just to be seven going was in there. Ground. Half? All right, let's go another half hour. Let me go. No, pee. I have to walk my dog before TWSS. All right, all right, all right, you guys. You just want to end it? No, no. I want to. I want to ask them one ask. What? Is that after this? Before you go watch the next thing, could you just hop on Instagram, find Twisted Messes, Twisted Messes, and just like some photos? 
Maybe look at the story if there is one. If there's no story, like the photos. Maybe comment on something, regardless of what it is. He's trying to get his analytics back up. My sh- I've been shadow banned on Instagram. On Instagram, and it's it's not good. Twisted messes. If um, you guys if you guys don't want to, whatever, dude. It's not a big deal. You know, it would just be cool. Here, hang on. Talk, keep talking. I'm gonna go pee. I'll be right back. Ooh, he's gonna go pee. All right. So now I have all the control in here. Let me push some of these buttons. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, if you could, if it's too much trouble, I understand. If you don't use Instagram, don't worry about it. If you're going to be on there anyway, I mean, you know, it's, it just it just be nice for Instagram to decide, you know, when I post something that they'll show it to some of the people who decided to follow me. You know, that's all. I'm not bitter. I'm not upset. This is just a, a one little favor that I'm just going to say just this one time and then I'll stop. And I'm stopping. See, maybe I'll read a little bit of the chat here. Oh, push buttons. Don't push the red button. They're all labeled, you guys. If you saw this, he's got a legit streaming setup here. I'm thoroughly impressed. I know the uh, chat thing put in the comments of the week kind of fell through. But he's got individual icons that show up on here. Here, he's coming back. <clears throat> uh. What are you guys talking about? Nothing in particular. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, well, uh, all right. They all want me to push it. Is that just tobacco, Joe? So if you push it again, it goes away? Yeah. You want to push the liquid? Push it. I push it again. Oh, great. Can they still hear me? Yes. And the, and the intro is happening. Oh, and the intro makes noises. Yes. That we can't hear. Oh. That we can't hear. Yeah. We can't hear that. All right, you guys, I pushed it. Is that just, is that I just feel so joke? naughty. I feel like I've done something wrong. Okay. So what do you want to do for this last, uh, 20 minutes? 20 minutes. Pick a topic. Okay. We'll discuss it. Let's get, let's get a topic from the crowd. Give, give us something to talk about. The lint button? No. He was going to push the big red button. Don't push the big red button. That's the explosion button. I pushed the liquid button because it has a picture of a coil that's on fire. I know. That's the uh, gargoyle hoof. Oh. It's the gargoyle hoof The one coil. that someone actually vaped? advocacy story time please promo that's what she said all right that's what she said is on uh, in about 20 minutes over on the ruby Roo youtube channel taste all the liquids talk about the flavor ban oh we should talk about hair again bring back the lint uh story time kent's end game setup we know kent's end game setup we 100 percent know kent's end game setup. yeah she probably wasn't here let's talk about here's replay. what we can talk about here's what we can talk about here's what we can talk about Let's talk about nicotine. Let's talk about nicotine for 20 minutes. What do you know about nicotine? You promised me some things before I did this. What did I promise you? You said, Kent, we're going to talk about vaping for 10 minutes, and then we're going to talk about you the whole time. And I was like, that's (laughs) all I've ever wanted. We did talk about you for basically the whole time. We talked about you and China learning it. We We talked about chapstick. We talked about vape more than we talked about me, and okay. I feel betrayed. Here's here's what I want from All you. All I've ever you wanted want in my life nicotine. is to talk about myself. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we can talk about nicotine. <laughs> so what what are you very knowledgeable about nicotine? I wouldn't say very knowledgeable. You're not. I mean, you I'm haven't like read a, up on the not, drug that you've been using for the last. Oh, I've read up on it. I'm just saying yeah. I'm not like a, a scientist or a doctor. Right. Neither am I. Or a physicist or mm-hmm. whatever. And have you seen this? Uh, did you see the trailer for the You Don't Know Nicotine movie? I haven't watched it yet. You haven't watched the trailer yet? Mm. Oh, I really want you to watch that trailer. I really want you to see I what you think about it. I want to I want to vape it too. Just don't blow so many clouds that it sets off my smoke alarms. That's one thing the 30 will do is fill it, your room with vapor Oh, it fats. chucks tits. Oh, it chucks a tit it's so It chucks hard. some tits, bro. Yeah. I haven't watched the trailer. Why is it controversial? <clears throat> if you watch it, it's just controversial. It just looks. Everybody's first instinct on it was that this is going to be like an anti vaping movie. Okay, so it's using like the similar grab your attention headline kind of things about right. nicotine. Yes. But actually, the content like in of the a, film most likely like won't in a clickbaity way. Yeah, so it's to get your attention. And not just that, it, a lot of it is the trailer couple. You're not on Twitter. Are you on Twitter? No, because Twisted Messes was taken by these two drunk kids that never used their account. Oh, you can be anything you want on Twitter. You could be Twisted Kent. You could be Twisted Hill. You could be Kent Messes. Yeah, I'm also, I don't, I don't feel like Twitter would be a healthy thing for me. Twitter's awesome. 
Twitter's where all the good stuff happens. I mean, I'm invested in Twitter. Stop. Everybody, I don't agree with it. Everybody sign up for Twitter. Everybody follow me on Twitter. <laughs> oh, it's great. There's just a lot of great That's people on Twitter. There's okay. a lot of good advocates on Twitter. Like, literally every day, it, Twitter is where I get my news. Twitter is where I see all of the newest anti-vaping articles and studies that have come out. Remember it's when they had the newspapers and that's how you got the news? Yeah, but we don't live in that world anymore. You're we right. We live in a Twitter world. And everything good happens on Twitter. Also and it's because there's a, there's, a, there's a group on Twitter called PAVE, right? Parents Against Vaping E-Liquid or something like that. PAVE, P-A-V-E, Parents okay. Against Vaping E-Cigarettes or something like that. And they don't have a lot of followers, but for some reason people always engage them. Whenever they post something negative, there's like 50 vapors underneath going, oh, no, you're wrong, this wrong, look at this, look at this science, oh, and everybody argues with them, right? Yeah, and, and, and so what Aaron, the director of the movie, did was like actually engaged Pave and was like retweeting some of the things they were tweeting, you know, and oh. like commenting on things that they were tweeting. Like Pave and, and this other girl, Aaron Mills, you know, they constantly post like, oh, another... Another lung injury. I wish the FDA would have banned flavors at the beginning so kids wouldn't be vaping now, you know. Right. And he he's kind of like, I don't know, engaging them, and that leaves a bad taste in people's mouth as well. Like the way that the movie's being marketed and, and the trailer. He's just trying to make a movie that people watch. Right. That's what I think, too, because... What was his first? A Billion Lives? Was yeah. that negatively slanted towards vaping? No, no. It was positively slanted towards right. vaping. And how many, uh, and it probably didn't do as well as they'd hoped. No, not at so all. Maybe they have to change tactics a little bit in order to get the word out there. See, that's, that's kind of where I come. That's my on hope it. for it. I don't know anything about the movie. That's what I would expect to happen after meeting. But Aaron I mean, even stuff. after not seeing the trailer and not seeing the things on Twitter, me just explaining it to you, your first inkling was he's a filmmaker trying to make a movie, trying to get people to see his movie. Yeah, that's right. what I would assume. It's clickbaity, right. but it's clickbaity. You have no choice in this. Day it's clickbaity. Yeah. You, it's really 2019. Everything scientific records of nicotine, right? Everything has to be clickbaity. Everything has to be a little bit sensationalized. Yeah, in order to get in order to get people's attention, right? Yeah, because you're so everything's drowned out. It's just like the most absurd things get get seen first. The most outrageous. Yeah, stuff. Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan call. I think it's Joe Rogan that does that. Joe Rogan calls it um, the war of the loud. You only you're in this battle and you only win if you're the loudest. Yeah, and that's why people always think that if they don't speak Chinese and they hear Chinese people talking, they think that they're really angry all the time. But really there's just so many people, so much competition for everything that you just have to speak loudly <clears throat> in order yeah. to be heard. Yeah. You know. You just have to. So our news is the same way on the internet has become it's that the way. war of the loud and whoever is the loudest and that's how you I can't believe you put more juice into this. That's how I, liquid. I, know. I did. I over I oversaturated it. Why are you vaping around the pole? <laughs> what am I, I guess that is more convenient. Not that motion. Oh, fuck, you guys, it's so good. But do you think it's weird that people think it's going to be an anti-vaping movie if it's a documentary about nicotine? I feel like if you are familiar with nicotine and you know anything about nicotine, then you know... That if they're looking for the truth about nicotine... That it's not going to be bad. They couldn't possibly... Be bad. Be bad. No, yeah, exactly. It couldn't possibly... If you know anything about nicotine... Yeah. Couldn't possibly be yeah, bad. Yeah, disregarding that the previous movie was completely pro-vaping and all of that. Completely right. disregarding that. The truth about nicotine, you have nothing to fear if it's actually the truth about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If it's actually the truth about nicotine, you've got nothing to worry about. Yeah, exactly. Nothing to worry about. Do you think that they could present information on nicotine that... It would be, uh, I don't know, disingenuous or how could they even take the subject of nicotine and turn it into something that's anti-vaping? I don't feel like that's even possible. You could pretty easily if you like uh, commingled the studies about nicotine in tobacco compared to just pure nicotine. Right. But the, the, but the documentary is nicotine strictly. Yeah. If it's right. going to be nicotine strictly, then there's nothing to worry about because nicotine... You know, it's really not that bad. I had juice on my hands. Liquid. I said J word too. <laughs> you corrected me. I got it all. Yeah. Over how me. does it feel, Nick? Because I overdrew. To know that how you speak is incorrect and not acceptable anymore. I didn't say that it wasn't acceptable. Oh, really? What is it? What does this mean when someone goes <gasps> liquid? I didn't do this. Liquid. I never correct people. 
<laughs> I don't correct you. So I don't go like, oh, n- liquid. I'll just repeat it. If you oh. go like, oh, this is a really good juice. I'll be like, liquid. That's all. I just throw it or in Or how there. about when liquid. it was like, I ordered that spicy, crunchy crab thing. And I'm like, I guarantee you <laughs> did not order that. <laughs> no, that's what you do. That's true. That's what you that's do. That's probably why I'm trying to get all, you know up in arms about it because I do that to people all the time. Yeah, you do that all the time. You, so, you're you so sure of something. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> until you're not. <laughs> 100% sure until proven wrong three times. And you go times. all in on that first thought. You got to. Thought. You know why? Because most people just eventually are like, fine, it's not that important to me. You but win, you Kent. push it. You push the issue. I push it, yeah. Yeah, you push no, it. I push it until you agree with me. Even it, Right or wrong, agree with you and then it's over. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Right or wrong. Yeah. Doesn't matter. And if I <laughs> and if I'm wrong and you prove me wrong, I'll admit it and say, "Well, okay, I got a little worked up about that. I was wrong." Yeah. But you take such a firm stance at the beginning. Yeah, cuz I, I like to win arguments like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like there are a few wouldn't things Wouldn't you rather be Wouldn't you rather You better say it right or I'll correct you. Listen, I, I know. <laughs> wouldn't you rather be cur- Wouldn't you rather <laughs> no, be No, that's not how it goes. No, 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 listen. Would you rather be wouldn't would you no wouldn't you rather be educated instead of being right would you rather be wouldn't Why you rather is be that educated a choice? Than, because that's Both. a choice so if you say educated and right if you if you say that uh, uh i don't know i'm trying to think of ooh uh, you're going to lose this argument i'm trying so to think bad. of like a if you okay a, a car <laughs> car carry right? on Okay, thinking about cars, and you're like, no. You're, and you're like, an internal combustion engine works this way. Right. I'm right. Yeah. If I say that, if I'm going technical, <laughs> then 100% I'm right. If I'm going technical and being like, this you is the function of a combustion engine. Right. I'm okay, going to know that engine was bad and out. Okay, that was a really bad analogy. In order to say that. Because I'm bad at analogies, and that was a really bad analogy. Well, the thing is but I'm that trying to I'm, say, like, wouldn't you rather be educated and be proven wrong and you learn something than trying to prove that you're right rather than absorbing the information. Well, of course, if it's something serious, if I'm with my friends and I'm trying to prove that you didn't order this thing for dinner, I'm going <laughs> to fucking go all in, dude. If I'm talking about some scientific thing that I don't have a good grasp on, then I'm not going to go all in like that. I wouldn't do that. When I the, the, the thing is, is that I know pretty thoroughly the stuff that I talk about the majority of the time. So I like to sometimes slip something in that maybe I don't really know. And people have been conditioned already of Googling stuff that I say and be like, Oh fuck. He's right again. He's right again. He's right again. Yeah. And then, so I just sometimes, yeah, I like to slip something in there that maybe I don't know a hundred percent. And I act a little overconfident about it. Yeah. Hoping that nobody like Googles that one. You stick to your guns. Yeah. You and stick to your guns hard. And then I stick to my guns hard. Until you're wrong and then you don't. Yeah, but usually I'm right anyway, even when I'm not sure. <laughs> like that's what that's why I stick to my guns so hard is because the way that pans out the majority of the time is people are like, No, you're wrong. And I'm like, dude, I guarantee you, blah, blah, blah. I just get more adamant. Someone looks it up and I'm right. Yep. That's what I mean. Yeah. So I'm probably just lucky and I actually don't know anything. Yeah. It's just it's an admirable quality, the courage and uh, you know, conviction of conviction my of what you say of what you say yeah and it's not like i made it up about the thing you ordered i really believed that even though i was wrong i believed that yeah that that well that's uh, what, what do they call that the mandela effect no the mandela effect is when you a bunch of people remember something very clearly Incorrectly. that didn't actually exist yeah but that's not like a proven thing like they don't recognize the mandela effect no, but whenever I see it, oh, Mandela Effect and I watch it, I'm like, yeah, absolutely. I've thought that my entire life. Yeah. And then they're like, nope, this is the original. I'm like, no way. And You're like, that's up. wrong. And I look it up and I'm like, holy shit. It was right. living a lie. Yeah. And that makes you think like how many memories from your childhood till now are just completely wrong. Or how much of the universe has changed while our memories have stayed the same throughout our entire life that you go back and look at the facts and it's different because, well, we were living a different life, my friend. How about this? Did the star... What? Yeah, I'm going deep, bro. Whoa. In a confusing way. Okay. All right. In a really confusing way. <laughs> okay, so did the Star Wars... As a Star Wars fan... Yes. Did you think that he said, Luke, I am your father? Yeah, but I knew that. 
I know you know that now. No, I've known that. That's always been the line. That's not the line. He, he never says, s- I am your father. He doesn't say, he says, Luke. He says, no, I am your father. He doesn't uh, say, Luke, I am your father. Okay. So That's you knew not that. the line. Yeah, he says, I am you your father. You always knew that was wrong. Yeah, I am your father. Because the not, way that he says it. Luke, I am your father. Because everybody says, Luke, I am your father. He says, no. I, I understand that, that he didn't say Luke, I am your father. Right. You can agree that everyone thought that he said Luke, yeah. I am your father. Uh, another Star Wars one is the C-3PO. So three, C-3PO is the big gold droid. Right. Um, and he has a silver leg. Uh-huh. And everybody thinks it's gold. What leg is, what color is C-3PO's leg in Star Wars? Gold. Right. Silver. Oh, yeah. That's one. My buddy Flitz on who texted me about two years ago, and he's like, did you know that C-3PO had a silver leg? And I was like, yeah. Oh, but you like, knew I that. I always thought it was gold. Like, yeah, okay, so I'm all on the of opposite this side of the Mandela See, what's effect. happening here is Nick is refusing to admit things in his past. No, no. Just to not seem <laughs> foolish no, no. about his addiction to Star Wars. Because there's been... I, I'm not... I don't feel foolish about my addiction oh, to Star Oh, no, Wars. but you would if you missed things in the movie. I'm not... A, no, see, that's gatekeeping, and I don't gatekeep. I don't think that's gatekeeping. That's gatekeeping. I think you need to look up gatekeeping on Ur- Urban Dictionary because that's where I get all my definitions. No, it's okay. <laughs> See, hey, if you guys ever Urban Dictionary <laughs> Kent, because it's amazing. I lucked out like a motherfucker on that <laughs> shit. No, because Kent is the God. <laughs> what was I saying? What was I talking about? Doesn't Why matter. I'm changing me? the subject. The Mandela effect. Yeah. The Mandela effect. Mandala effect. Mandela effect. Mandela effect. That's the Mandela. Mandela effect. It's the Mandela effect. Must be Nelson Mandela, Mandela effect. So I have this thing where I hate it when super fans of things exclude fans of things because they don't feel like they're big enough fans of things. That's gatekeeping, right? So that's like me knowing uh, that C three PO's leg was silver and Flitz not knowing that it was silver. If I'm like, oh, you guys, you're not a real Star Wars fan, then. Oh, okay. That's gatekeeping, and that's what I hate. Uh, I think yeah. that you should be able to enjoy anything you want on any level that you want. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to know every character's name. You don't have to have read the books. You don't have to know every song on every album. Same with Coil You building, can like dude. Queens of the Stone Age without knowing that the third Queens of the Stone Age's record is this with this track list yeah, and the, all the band members. You could and build shit. a few. You few can be passive if fans you want. Of if you don't know what a you know a, a pitchfork. Triple stagger fuse Clapton is right. You, know? you could build just a whatever single. You can coil build if you whatever want. you want and enjoy it. Yeah, I'm and no And just gatekeeper. enjoy it. Don't gatekeep. No, I don't. Gatekeeping, gatekeeping. is the worst. Yeah. I hate. I can't stand that. I agree. With and it you. especially happens in fandoms, and it happens in Star Wars fandoms, and it happens in all sorts of fandoms, especially music. Music seems to be the biggest one. Oh yeah, you're not you a know? real fan. Blah, it's blah, like, blah. oh, someone's wearing a. Someone's wearing a David Bowie shirt. Can you even name three David Bowie songs? Maybe, maybe not. Who cares? I like David Bowie. Fuck you. My my fandom is just as legitimate as yours, even if yeah, it's not on the dude. same level of fanaticalness. Did I agree with I you? I can still enjoy something. Okay, so I agree with you. I take we it back. Whatever you. I said, you were correct about gatekeeping. You don't have to look <laughs> it up on Urban Dictionary. I apologize. See? And I didn't double down on that one. No, because you seemed like you had a lot of info to back it up. But gatekeeping isn't just... Gatekeeping happens You're right. all the time. It's I not agree. Just Drop like a, it already. It's not just like a. <laughs> it's not just like a movies and music thing. It's like a, you know, it, and it, this happens all the time. If I'm like, oh, I'm cold, and people are like, in Minnesota, it snows, you know, ten feet every day, and it's below zero temperatures. You don't know what cold is. It's like, well, yeah, that is cold, but I am also cold. Okay, you that's have the, gatekeeping. You too. have the right to be cold when it's very hot outside. You, I'll give you that because it's extremely hot all the time, and you're like, "Ooh, I need a sweater." And I'm no. like, "Dude, I'm sweating. You can have my sweat." I I run chilly. I know you do. It's unfortunate. Who cares? Just because you run hot, it's all that red hair. <laughs> yeah, I had to get that in there. Orange. Had to get a dig in there. All right, look. You know what? This vlog has been great. I've had a I've had a wonderful time tonight. If anybody is still watching you guys, um, thank you guys so much for coming out. Five minutes, that's what she said, episode 18. Uh, vape mail, does Kasa do anything? Hair everywhere. They're continuing the hair, the hair topic. Yeah, in five minutes. In five to, minutes, that's what she said. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and say goodbye, everybody. But uh, seriously, thank you, Kent, for coming out. I really appreciate it. Yeah. What the fuck?
bro. What are you doing? Like this one. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Get it. <laughs> Whoa, you're going to arm wrestle me? I'm twerking from here. That's going to break something. I know. So, thank you, Kent, for coming out. Really appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, for coming out tonight and hanging out with us. Um, really, really very much appreciate it. We'll see as many of you as possible this weekend at the ECC, the big ECC Expo down here in Southern California. That's this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'll be there all days. Be there all the days. I'll just be there. You come say hi. Dr. Audium, dude. Kent, that's hilarious. did you have anything? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, doctor, that is a that is a interesting <laughs> request. Uh, so, did you have anything you want to plug? Anything your Instagram? You yeah, have Instagram. And I just want to remind everybody Instagram. one thing that would make me happy is did to go you, to my Instagram, uh, like a few things, make a few comments, whatever you want. Um, I I told Kent ahead of time, like when you come on the vlog, like make a coupon code for everybody. But I feel like that's not something that happened. So yeah, it's going to be the coupon code is going to be called. Uh, what was the one that you thought of that was so easy to remember? Waffle Stomp? No, that's not easy to remember. Oh. The code is Grim Green. I'm going to make it right now as soon as this All is done. All lowercase Grim Green. 35% off everything you hear on that? twistedmesses.com. You see, Kent comes on the vlog. I get you guys 30% off. I can't Coupon think of Coupon code is Grim that. Green. It'll be active for however... 48 hours. Okay. 48 hours. You have 48 hours. You have until Saturday. You have an... Uh, sorry. That was gross and right into the Sunday mic. morning. I'm, I'm shutting it down the Grim Green Code. <laughs> shutting down the Grim Green Code. So there you go, guys. Hey, again, thank you guys so much for coming out. Uh, really, really, very much appreciate it. And uh, yeah, that was that's awesome. it. Thank you. Thank you guys so thank much for watching. For uh, and as always, as always, as always, as always, let's keep on vaping. Smash that like. Smash that like button, you guys. Smash it. <laughs>